trailer was at the beginning it very much wasn't on point yeah. but by the time you hit the last episode sucked. the series was not very good but by the time you hit the end of the series every character was how they were supposed to be yeah they were locked into place they, they were finally they were finally even showed black hole doing shit I like those oh, first steps yeah. right now. I, I finished <laughs> it. <laughs> no, the, I didn't because I didn't I go. I never judge a whole series so. unless I finish it. I now, I will man. say, I, I, so I will cool. I will not finish series, but then I won't judge them. I'm like, I couldn't even finish it. I, I couldn't finish, finish Arrow. Stuff, Arrow though, and then yeah, just I'm still that trying to get through Arrow. So, Have you finished that? I don't I don't watch any of Oh, man, I don't blame you, you, man. I really don't blame you. They're so hokey and cheesy. That woman, I haven't even given that a chance. After the reviews and the open and even the trailer like i am pro feminist right yeah but that once again is extremist that's not that's feminist. trash yeah that's, that's trash it's garbage. garbage that's, that's not any that's kind not of equality no nope. that's yeah there's a difference between equality and uh and bullshit yeah bullshit Same it's, all like, that's horrible and uh, it's like not all men are horrible Oh, that's a Dragon Ball Z font? That's what's up. Yes, it is. Let's <laughs> put that for this episode. Like, hell yes. <laughs> that shit. DBZ? <laughs> Wait, I think. Oh, no. Okay. It right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is everything going, going. Oh, it's got to be locked. Oh, oh, man. Well, we got to talk about it on the cast, but, man, what did you guys think of the Batman look? Uh, so, you know, somebody had said it looks more like the year one kind of Batman. That's what I was and thinking. I get behind that. Like a much wider open cowl and maybe pointier ears. Yeah. There, then, was, uh, uh, there was a couple notes I had on it. Well, um, I talked to one guy who's like a huge But that huge definitely would have been going. Yeah, what do you think? He's like, you know, I can't really say too much about it right now. He's, he's, like, get more. he's like, I wish there was more. He's like, the, yeah. And then one guy right behind us is the comic shop. He's like, yeah, he looked kind of more like Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm with the red it's light so and looking it's down, his eyes are closed. I'm like, they chose ah. some bad angles for the comparison photos. Like, yeah, it's definitely along that line. All right, man. Daredevil. Until we, you know what I mean. We gotta we get like it. a full. We gotta get the full movie yeah, first. Because even the like, trailer's not gonna. He do looks, it. No, like the trailer's not gonna let us know enough. Stuff, so. There's just uh, no way. He, Matt Reeves looks like a guy who likes to tease stuff. Though, oh, he yeah, he, he is an does. absolute uh, tease. Camera <laughs> testing, like, mm, like, like, come on that. with that camera. Just drop a trailer or tease oh, us. Oh god, man! man. Especially with all the negativity. Sorry about the audio for people at home. Especially with all the negativity surrounding Batson. Even like, not. I was never. I'm never negative about somebody. I'm not. Like, they're going to do bad. I'm like, based on their performances, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. I don't think they're for the part. Now, I've been proven wrong, and I've been proven right. Both, you know what I mean? And I'm always willing to say I've been proven wrong. A uh, big example of that for me was actually uh, Momoa's Aquaman. I so what did you, you didn't like Momoa's Aquaman? <sighs> no, no, no. Or... For its start, I would thought he wasn't going to be very good because... 
Momoa is acting He's prior very... to that. It's, and it's yeah, not he very have a big Aquaman. tenure before oh, that. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and I and actually have even dude, more experience. Game of Thrones, Cal Drogo. And... I actually watched him long before that when he started Stargate Atlantis. Stargate, oh, yeah, oh, that's right. And I was okay. very familiar with wow. that. And he plays essentially the same character in every movie. That's like again, he's very much a uh, uh, Sam Jackson Keanu slash Reeves. The Rock slash. He, he you know, brings himself to the role. Right, he plays right. himself. And I would say that's very much as Aquaman too. And obviously, I think. The Justice League uh, TV show kind of may pave the way for him to be acceptable in that with the yeah. long hair look and the yep. gruff and the nineties look mm -hmm. on Aquaman comics. Like he had that gruff, right? So can look mm -hmm. and, and that. But having said that, like cool. once you saw him, especially not in Justice League, but when he got a chance to shine in Aquaman, he did good in Justice League too, for sure. Like the ah, scene with the man. the scene with the fucking lasso is my one. I, you know, I I want to say he did good in Justice League, but that movie was just so bad. It was it's so but, hard to talk about the good parts of it. It, it is <laughs> definitely, so, but I, I you gotta to like as a as really a critic, you gotta be able to. Bad, man, and it's all and it's something that I always like tell people like it's very tough to like stomach it, but like just because Hitler said something doesn't make it wrong, right? Hitler said, if Hitler said the Earth was round, does that make it wrong? Well, I, no. well, going back to what you think about actors, though, do you think Robert Pattinson, do you guys think he is you know, the right guy he, for the small You know, he's, he's gotten so much better. I wanted to I see his to movie see with more. Mike Nelson. Oh, it's so good with him and Will yeah. Defoe. Yes. See, that's really the one that good. everyone keeps telling me to watch is Lighthouse. To watch that's Lighthouse. the one I need to watch because I've good. seen him in it's some really other good. stuff and just been... Even beyond the Twilight series, I've seen him a couple. Oh, he movies. did some other. Yeah, after that, he did a couple. Yeah, other and I was just kind of, but I've heard that really the Lighthouse is what the one you need to see him in. That's the driving force for this movie. Right, which I, I guess I can see. My big thing is uh, twofold. One, obviously, like, the history of an actor matters when they come into a role. Yeah, but the Twilight stuff, he didn't even like that. You and know, not even beyond that. Like, it's, it's not about him. him. It's about the public's perception of That's him. true. That's true. You know what I mean? And so I'm not discounting him. I'm, I'm counting on public opinion. That's yeah. right, Which can change. Yeah. Right, like this trailer obviously has gotten big and bad things for many people. You know what I mean, whether good or bad. And, and you know what will change his perception is Tenet. If that does well, people yeah, are gonna associate gonna really him with more. Him. More. I roles. think so. Yeah. And I, it really is gonna come down to being because the Lighthouse was more not indie but more of a side film yeah. as opposed to something mainstream, uh, totally topical. I mean, you are right with that. I mean, because there is actors that do a role and then it ends up ruining their, their Harry career. Potter cough. Yeah, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. He has not really been able been to catch else. a good yeah. yeah, he has not been able to catch a good break since then. And I even like some of the roles he plays it. It just never works out for never him. Never really worked out for him. Um, but you know, uh Robert Pattinson has been in a lot of indie stuff. Yeah. That, right. As he gets to tan it, that could be I, the breaking yes, ground for I him. I think he just needs public uh notoriety. Yeah he does. Whether good or bad, that will solidify his place and then let people go forward. And here is my other biggest thing. Like, they said, you know, Phoenix has proved it. Now, granted, I thought Phoenix would do good. Ledger proved it. And granted, I thought Ledger would do good. So I wasn't, like, off on those ones. But, you know, we've proved that, you know, the preconception of an act preconceptions of an actor did not prevent them from playing their role well. That's true. That is up to the actor. They, at any time, you know, any actor can become better, worse, etc. They're just people. They're just you know, doing their job. So every movie is a movie to movie thing. And this could be like his, you know, big role where it's like, okay, now he gets three more Batman exactly. films. Exactly. Yeah. This could really set it up it for him. It very much could. And honestly, like, I'd be fine with it. I, like, people are always like, oh, what are you going to do when you get proven wrong? And I'll be like, smile because I'll get a good Batman movie. I would like nothing right. more Wouldn't than to you be love proven. That? Oh, Anybody? Like, who, who and honestly, be <laughs> I think the amount of care they're putting into the movie is going to make it a good film. Now, whether that makes it a good, you know, popular film mm -hmm. is a whole nother question. You oh, know, and speaking of popular films, did y'all see Birds of Prey? I liked I, it. I, I had did a good not time. See I had a really like, good I time. Still I still it. feel so bad that it didn't get the box office, you know, that yeah, it that it deserved. Have. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think it really was because one guy did post it up in a comment and goes. You know, I, I posted in the comment group. It's like, I know you guys are going to get mad at me saying this, but honestly, us men are, we're, 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 all, we're all assholes. <laughs> I mean, and really, we right. don't want to go see a bunch of females as no. lead characters. Well, and... then the problem is the, the rating, unfortunately. 
Like, you know, look, oh, it's and our, that too didn't help. That if didn't it help. was PG 13, you could get the teenage yeah. girl audience yeah. in. Yep. Yeah. You could get the yep. little girl audience in. It, like, you there's a couple a lot things more that, yeah, definitely. I mean, there, there are a couple was one things. Scene the that other thing really being is that film, Birds yeah, of Prey <laughs> are really. <laughs> yeah. Like, Whoa. yeah. And even, even beyond that, when you consider uh, the history of Harley Quinn and even the history of the other characters, like, they're not exactly like the most child friendly characters. They're not, no, no. Their, their stories are usually deeper, darker. They deal with misogyny and, yeah. you know, like a, a bunch of adult topics that are important and, and, you know, we really should address, but may, are not necessarily commercially viable. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or at least not in that style and medium font. So, like, like you said, maybe had they been able to swing a PG 13 rating and pull some of the story to. <laughs> Like focus, yeah, or put the Suicide Squad out first. Another well, Harley, and then movie. the marketing yeah, may just great pull it. it really, no, it really wasn't. You got the title. The, the trailer didn't drop until what about a week or so? Yeah, that's four a couple weeks, maybe two weeks. Yeah, and like then the... it was ready to come out, and I was like, wait, I I knew this was coming out. I just didn't know it was coming out so soon because yeah. I wasn't interested until that second trailer. And then when I see that, I was like, okay, I yeah, I that looks check good. This out. Yeah, I want to see it because it looks like it's. Like I said, I still haven't seen it, but even just going by trailers, and usually people won't agree on this because sometimes it's a trap, but most of the time, you can tell by a trailer if a movie is going to be good. Especially depending on what they put out. So, like, good example of this. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw it. I've never seen it. I've only seen the trailer. Monster Trucks. Yeah, no way. Uh, <laughs> but see it, man. <laughs> I've never seen it, and I'm I never going it, to, man. but do you know why I'm never going to see it? Because the trailer? Because I saw the trailer, and <laughs> all the best parts are in bad. the trailer. It doesn't look like a good movie. I can tell you the plot right away. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm willing to give some movies a chance, though. Yeah. So. Like, because that will. first Sonic trailer... Man, True, but they got another up. one out that had one. that first, that one and really I still will give things, things a chance. Up. Like I said, I will never, like... Unless I start it and literally can't get through it, and like I said once again, then I won't judge it because I wasn't able to finish it and give it a full. Let uh, me ask you guys this: judge. Do you think it would have been bad had they kept the old Sonic design but still had the same line, same delivery? You know, I was kept thinking about that every time I, I watched was, it. Yeah, like, every time. How, was how would it look like in that scene? Yeah. Even when he was watching in the window, I was like, you know, if he was very tall, and I'm like, I don't know if it, it wouldn't be very. Wouldn't be he'd as be, comedic. Yeah, and he's too. It would be too much like he's an adult, like almost kind of like yeah. he's too tall. Yeah, there, there were. He felt like very kiddish to me when he oh, was that more shorter. Yeah, kind of song. honestly, yeah. he's he small and yeah, more animated. Very honestly, I wish that was one of my big uh, gripes with Sonic was his voice actor doesn't oh, sound young enough. He needs to be he, sound younger. Yeah, because Sonic's like talks 15, young. 14 years old, and and, and he sounds an like a grown ass man. Yeah. yeah, he talks like. A kid, but he sounds like a man. And shit, I like I liked the voice. I, I like I said I I was okay with it, but it was something where I wish his voice was slightly more kiddish. And once again, I'm obvious I'm probably harkening back to um, and obviously that one was a Disney, but I'm harkening back to like the old Sonic cartoon. Oh um, man, when uh, Steve Urkel did his voice, man, mm -hmm. uh, Jaleel White. Yes. Oh, he did the voice. Yeah, yes. yes. he did back and on the, the Adventures of amazing. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. It was. That was tip top Sonic. That was voice probably acting. yeah. That was and that's why I say like, it's one of my notes. It's a minor thing, right? It didn't pull me out of the movie. It doesn't reduce the score or anything for me. It's just a note of a personal nature, right? Even that's like not something I can critically be like, you know, that makes that a bad movie. It's like no, it's like personally, I like Sonic with a kid Kiddish voice. voice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's I what that. I would have preferred to see. But that's as opposed to like Robotnik being fat. That's just canon, like. Yeah. There's no, you know what I mean. Yeah, that was probably like one of my big gripes was you know Robotnik. Robotnik. But I, I mean, I did like end, when they put him finally yeah, in the end of the. The, the end. Chinese. He yes. what he like throughout the movie becomes more and more. And like I said, I really like. But once again, I like it because it's Jim Carrey, <laughs> not because he's Robotnik in those roles, and that's important to distinguish. Which I think is a lot of the time, like some of the time he is. It's very much like so when he first shows up and he's like berating the soldier. That is very much like Robotnik. Yeah, it is. And he has a little Cut twist of character. Off and... Oh, he's like, God, Mr. Nobody Cares. Yep. Nobody yeah, cares. Very villain like. Because none of your yeah, accomplishments he... matter. You know what I mean? Like, he, that is very much Robotnik. And that's either. very much like Adventures of Sonic and yes. the Hedgehog Robot. And I honestly early. think he pulled a lot of his that his character for that from there and then obviously added in Ace Ventura. There's just so much. Yeah, there's in there. a, yeah. A, but and it's funny because my favorite parts are those parts where he's like, 
you know, for instance, it's like, would you like, would I like a latte? Of course, of course I, I love a latte. <laughs> I, love I love your lattes. <laughs> it's oh, like, so good. that is Ace Ventura, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas the other, you know, I like machines. They're reliable, independent. That is robotic. And see, so for it's... me, some of the Ace Ventura stuff, I was kind of like, maybe not too much of that. It, like, it, and like I said, it, it's very much like I got to always separate my personal review from my critics review because my personal review is i really like nate's venture and that's awesome <laughs> my critic review is that's not robotic and that's out of character and it wouldn't do that you know what i mean mm. realistically they're like there's a couple scenes where they're the, the zaniness of the two meet like the licking of the hair that yeah. would be a robotic <laughs> where he's like sap <laughs> well we wouldn't do that again yep <laughs> Oh man, I like I I really like Robotnik though. I love Sonic. Mm -hmm. Love Sonic. I thought that the the adventure was done well in a style like of uh, narrative. The the starting. I'm usually not a fan of starting at the end, moving yeah, back to the beginning. Yeah, kind of reversed. Oh, that, that was, was that was it. Always nice. it always reminds me of the Rick and Morty scene. It's like, there. Do you want me to go back to two <laughs> weeks ago when you were still alive? <laughs> Yeah, but I, I I dug that and uh, Sonic was just good. And oh yeah, the the running scenes, that amazing, awesome. best fucking awesome. Dude, reminiscent of X Men's Flash, you know, what yeah, I mean? the style okay, in which yeah. it was done, yeah, those, and those how the freeze and, frames and. But they they took it a little step, you know, notch up with you know finally when everyone you know finally went back in and went. Yeah, yeah all the way back in the hell. Oh, it was yeah, 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 really awesome. The yeah. bar fight was awesome. <laughs> the bar fight yeah, those, was yeah, those probably cool the best. Scenes. I really like those. Oh yeah, uh, like was... I would say the story is kind of unoriginal because you know we've seen this before, like an ET where somebody from yeah, another world. I was yeah. curious. To be fair, most anyways. stories are unoriginal nowadays. You yeah, know, like the, the the Hollywood formula is there for a reason. Like we like it some when it goes off the rails sometimes with new movies and indie movies. Give me a little of... twist, you know. You know Give we me a like some. Twist. Throw uh, something in there. But I feel like people are always expect you know people expect the good guy to win. People, of course, you know of what course. I mean. Which is something that I've so become not accustomed to just doing these other, you know, watching independent films, uh, reading other cultures, uh, books and stuff. Like, I've been reading translated from Japanese and lately, like, older, like, Persian stories and stuff. Like, from... But I digress is, like, you get to see a lot of different storytelling tropes. And see, I would love stuff like that. Because, like, imagine if, like, Robotnik showed up and he betrayed Sonic and Tom from one another. Like made them think that they were yeah like the bad like, guy or something. There, there Turned are so many other, good so. like opportunities. I will say that they catered to kids. They did. Yeah, this a is a kids movie absolutely. for sure. It's yeah. PG yeah. down to the T. Oh goodness. There's goodness. no uh, really adult humor even. Like yeah, I didn't get a lot of yeah. Uh, yeah, there was some jokes. For, you know, yeah. there was no like oh I'm not wearing any pants, nothing like that. You know, Pixar I mean, would like to do that for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I will say there could have been some of that. I and I wouldn't mind. I will say that I don't necessarily uh, expect there to be. Right. I don't need. I don't no, need it. No. no, no but but it's kind of like oh. But when you only, don't have yeah, at that point, that's something I, I think it's something that you might. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's something you might need though when you're lacking, uh, like you said, those original story twists or plot lines. That having those extra bells and whistles of you know uh, innuendo jokes and. Some just a Reference. little more, just to juice yeah. things up a little. You, yeah, it's a little boilerplate. Uh, oh man, it reminds like they're I I can't remember what they're called, but they're like uh, foreground and background jokes basically, and those are some of my favorites in like animated series and movies and stuff. When you pay attention to the certain things, so like I know the one I've been thinking of for like the last two weeks as a reference is always the one from Futurama, and they have a scene where they go to the trailer park, and I'm you know I've watched the series way too much. Same here. <laughs> it's a good I know series, exactly man. where you're going. <laughs> but um, the fucking sign on the thing says, uh, Basura Blanca. And if you're not paying attention, you just totally miss it. Oh, but it's a fucking shit. reference to Casablanca. Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay. And Basura Blanca, as Izzy knows, is white trash. <laughs> just those little small answers. Like I said, man. just little things. And the Simpsons. Uh, Matt Groening is oh, they do they yeah. all the time. Yeah, they're what would you guys give Sonic out of ten though? Mm. It's rough. I always I'm give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. out of ten. That's yeah. that's great. Then I, I, I'm going to seven, and the only reason is because the story is kind of boring. That's the only thing that kind of I, did yeah. Really. And, and that's I think, the only thing I didn't really like. 
I'm going to catch the mid was fine. Man. It was good, but I'm going to catch the mid ground at seven and a five. Mostly the point five being given by the fact that I like Jim Carrey. Being <laughs> Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, like well, I said, now that you, now that he's kind of getting back into these roles again, oh, how do you feel about him? Because I've heard he wants to do a mask too now. God, it's been. 30 years? I mean, God, I, I would love it. I, I'm not even a front here. I would love I, I, it. Oh, I mean, I absolutely would love right. to see it, but man, to pull... And it would, you know, I say that, but, you know, they did the Dory, they did... They've done so many where they're Incredibles like... Incredibles 2, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, 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 that's a big one, right? Ten here. years I waited for this. <laughs> I, I'll never get over that. <laughs> Only to get hit with an unoriginal movie. No, it wasn't bad, though. It was good. That's jack jack. Yeah, Incredibles 2 was good. Well, and it, like I said, it, it, it was, you know, every movie is about something or has a purpose. You know, as long as it fulfills that purpose, it does its job. And that movie was about Jack Jack, really. Yeah. It was to show off Jack Jack and like family stuff. And it did that. And it did it good. So, Sonic, it looks like we're looking at sequel territory. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, with man. the two mid credits, right. you know, or, yeah, yeah, the post credits yeah. beyond. Really clear. I, yeah, they're very much leaning. I am super, you know, I want to be super ambitious about it and like hopeful and like, man, can we have a universe? Can we have a fuck. Can I we want have a Pikachu? Smash Bros. Yes, <laughs> I want Pikachu. And I want. Please. Yeah. I mean, oh. they, well, they just said that Sonic was the most top rated or most. Uh, it got the most, most in the box office. Yeah, for yeah, video ever. game ever. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, well, one, I feel like, and people like underestimate a lot but listening to your fan base matters it does and the money they reinvested into that uh movie for the effects i will hope will VFX pay out. Studio. i still Not can't cold. believe how they knocked they, that out so how did so did i don't know up for like a like a year and then they just shut down right after i think that? They, so were they up for when they refinanced all that it was not enough to still fund that little vfx house and they just ended up going bankrupt wow <laughs> Yeah, they, it, it just like, wasn't enough to pay, and that's why the budget is so large at ninety five million. Yeah. You know, you can knock out these little animated films for fifty and under, but that reanimation is such a quick order. They had to pay, and oh yeah, the VFX house just worked their people so much they didn't have the resources to stay open. It makes sense, and I mean, it's not like it would be the first time that uh, a company has worked itself out of business. Basically, you know what I mean. It happens pretty often in the VFX you, industry. Honestly, in a lot of uh, demand, on demand industries end up doing that a lot. And small animation studios. Any, oh, and it's down, almost basically. always small studios, yeah. man, which which it, sucks it, it because hit. they do the most like in depth work. You know yeah. what I mean? They're very hands on because they only have one or two titles and they're relying on them to make money. They're very like on board. You know, they're on they the They have ball. to be on the beat all the time. Oh, yeah. It's unfortunate for the people who are animating because they're working like. 14, 16 hour shifts. Oh, it's bad. Animating the whole time. E- easily frame frame. six, seven days a week. And like even looking it's at like uh like even talking on individual technology upgrades with you know oh, like yeah. hand drawn, you know, going to these new Well you gotta remember that even doing work. even get doing those like sometimes saves time, sometimes lose time, but that's a cost again for the company to upgrade all the equipment. Yeah. It's a cost again to maintain all the equipment. It's but I but going back to what you were saying. I am glad that Jeff Fowler and Paramount Studios actually listened to us yes. and redesigned that Sonic look because I'm going to be real, guys. Like I would If I would have seen that original, I would have took it away from yes. me. It pulls... It it's much. very important. They were going I, that yeah. Sonic boom kind of route with the Knuckles member. Oh, Knuckles was very tall. He's like, can we, <laughs> oh, man, it's can we, he's like super buff. And I'm like, <laughs> speaking of Knuckles that. and a sequel, can we speak about the opening scene? All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So is it not the echidnas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 That was that, that was yeah. crazy. So like, and don't get me wrong, in the original canon, they are like start out as kind of like enemies, but I didn't think there it was like a whole. Well, I don't think they even come out until Sonic Adventure. No, yeah, and he then, does it for several times. Yeah, but cause then the and whole then tribe. I I don't think I don't remember. I don't them remember in that Sonic yeah. and Knuckles game or Sonic Three. No, like the original introduction of of Knuckles was like as a rival slash yeah slash nemesis kind nemesis of nemesis of, of Sonic. Because you definitely like kind of fought him, and then I thought you still played as him at like the end of parts and of Sonic those games. and Knuckles. They they 
Eggman ends up tricking them against each other. Yeah. And then once they figure out, they become friends. Right, which was the the original, like I said, because it was very much like rivals as opposed to like enemies. He like was originally were... Shadow, Knuckles, essentially. He was yeah. like the original Shadow. Yeah. Yes, the and then we got Sh- Shadow, which who knows, like we're several movies away from right. that. Right, we might best. be two or three movies so away. So because of that, do you think now they would introduce Knuckles? Yeah. Um, I, I think they might think be building mean. towards that. I think they're I mean, and I think it's I would important really, now that they do the sequel, I would love for them to go now into the, their universe more. Not the yeah, I guess. Maybe come back every I will so say, often I'll, involved you gotta go to the mushroom zone. Be, like, yeah. Go to the zones because they right, had yeah. them reference it. I thought that was a Mario reference, but I it's, did too, but then it's Sonic a mushroom zone. Yeah, yeah. Sonic there's there's a lot of, and they were very big. If you look at the map, Green, green, oh, green, green Hill, Hill. Green Hill, green Hill yeah, which right. is the name yeah. of the first yes. level in yes. Yes. That's and Sonic Adventure Two. Yes, uh, <laughs> Sonic Adventure uh, too. Which, is this so? I love, that's what I always love. And you talk about chili other. dogs. Oh, yeah, the dude, there are so like, many. Oh, like I said, yes. the little things, the little references, the making sure that he's visually on point. They build the more important aspects of a movie. Don't get me wrong; the the memorable movies have the twists and the turns and the amazing stories and the amazing visuals. But they can't exist well without those little details also being perfect and spot the on. Rings, like remember oh. in the games when you go to a yep, one of those and it bonus was, levels, you go through a ring. ring I'm like, oh my god! Like, oh look, here it is. Level. I am now in se- ty- cyborg techno. Yeah, it's like a 3D down look. Oh god, it's there was just, so it's many so cool. cool. But Which, I agree with you. Next movie, go back to the other world a little yeah. bit more. Stay there yeah, for most. Right. They showed us already. Yeah. So. I thought that was cool that they at least showed it. I will. What did you think about that depiction of that? Like, I loved it the way they showed too. the world. I thought it was pretty. I'm cool. like, if you guys, just especially keep considering that up, like the next one, awesome. I will say like I think the the depiction and the translation as well. I don't think the translation and it it never did in the 3D Sonic games for me either of the singular pathway looping. Is it never looks very natural? You know, it always looks like someone built this. Like who built this random race? <laughs> I know, like island? the loop. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, the loop, loop is always, always the one. Weird, like like a it's always a track. Or or it's like wait, it's kind of funny. How I said to he's like, yeah, and I have this whole um, this whole track that I can go the whole world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so then I can be in school. That's it. Except there, there was no school. I told you this is the best island ever. <laughs> <laughs> there was very much like they very much got the humor on point. And... Who was that Al? Was that a new character? I, I don't recognize don't them. Remember them. I, they, Never heard I think that. they're from the comics. If I, I had to guess. I, well, I, I used to read the comics, but... Well, yeah. they rebooted it now, and I've been That's funny. That's now. actually what I started on comics for. Oh, it was it's Sonic. Archie. Uh, oh, uh, Archie just, Sonic. Yeah, yeah Archie cool. Sonics. They were badass yeah. in those comics, dude. Like, that's where a lot yeah. of his, uh, like... What? Canon feats or mm-hmm. whatever come from where yeah. people are like Sonic's badass come from those yeah, it comics. Yeah, that's where they, they did the uh, Super Saiyan Sonic. Yeah, yeah like Yellow Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Yeah. It was, that was full on Super Saiyan. Yeah, it was. It was. We'll they copied off of Dragon Ball Z with that <laughs> to be, shit. To be fair, everybody copies off of Dragon Ball Z on everything yep. except for Dragon Ball Z Super, which copied off of Tariko. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ball Super was really good. A um, couple arcs I was. The thing is, like, but, a lot of people will be up and down, but I think if you're a core fan of Dragon Ball from Super, Dragon Ball yeah. and Dragon Ball Z, not just, I always love the bridge references. It's like, it's Dr. Dro, only watch Z, who dis? It's like, that. it's the Red Ribbon Army, only watch Dragon Ball. <laughs> I heard their ending, they said. Oh yeah, yeah they yeah, already Bridget have. Has, They've has been. The book, and, and to be fair, they they even talked about it on their Patreon uh and even before this, probably like six or eight months ago during a podcast, they had said like, now nah, we're not going to be continuing doing, uh, well, now they've released more. So originally they had said they were going to, they had hinted they were going to do season four at the end of episode 60, part three. Like mm-hmm. there's a teaser, the end, or is it, you know, stuff like that. And they were supposed to do the BoJack movie. They, they said they were going to do the BoJack movie. Um... Then, I think it was like eight months ago or six months ago, they basically made the announcement during like a podcast where like, well, we're not going to be doing season four uh, in the, basically the style they've been doing, which is the footage edited. Mm -hmm. Uh, They said they were going to be doing it in their new style, which is that 3D animation style. I don't know if you guys have seen the shorts, the DVDs, or the dragon shorts. They're really funny. They're a little much at times. But very funny. So they're not doing a bridge, but they're doing the shorts. Yes. And, and 
the thing is they said so eight months ago they said they were going to be doing i know and so i've, I've got i've got heavy opinions on this because i've been watching these guys now since i was 12 or 14 probably so 11 or i've i've been around it's been since a good while they they had just when i started they had just finished no they had not even finished it was like oh one. seven because I remember, I remember the very beginning of that. Like shit. I said, I I was started. around from the pretty much the very first season was when I hopped on. I got a shirt. I have an original Ghost Snapper shirt. All oh, shit. Yeah, I like oh, I said, I've been shit. around for a minute. Yeah. Like, so like I've watched and kept track of it, and I watched their other stuff too. Helsing. I watched their shorts. I watched their gaming. Yeah. I try to keep up with it. I the just enjoy them. stuff is what they're and that's what for, that is their and that is their money not anymore it was never their money maker because it's hard for them to monetize they're constantly getting pulled down because yeah, of it the like I don't stuff. blame them for stopping doing it necessarily the problem was like I said eight months ago they said they were still going to be doing it in the shorts thing and a very and now they've and so like I said, there's a lot of fair arguments on both sides. That's kind of like Collider. You guys know what happened with them. Like the move, their movie yeah. talk, the Star Wars stuff is done. The Marvel stuff is done. Yep. And they're, so they've... they're focusing on like the, the, the deep fakes and shit. Right. And no, and they're yeah. losing all their yeah. sponsors. Back to the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it actually looked pretty dope. <laughs> the Robert, the Robert Jr. Jr. Yeah, that one is good one. <laughs> It was, it was good. Like I said, man, everyone, like, it's not always bad. And I, I, I'm excited to see some of the other stuff. The The issue was a lot of the people who were helping to fund uh, TFS were doing so to help sponsor DBZ Bridge. Now, TFS specifically stated that none of the funds coming in from their Patreon were ever going to go to DBZ Bridge because they're not allowed to. That's not... Yeah, unfortunately. It's right. right. <laughs> and, and they've said that many times. However many people and they also know that they donate so that they have money and they can continue to work on it on the side mm -hmm. now in addition to that they said they were going to do it in the short style and continued to take money for once again another six to eight months before two weeks ago or a week ago when they once again did a very formal full announcement after having made like a joking comment on a twitter status and everyone like being like what's up with this they're like yeah no we're not doing it at all it's just going to be too much work and that's really what it boiled down to and why people are mad is it's going to be too much work and we want to do other stuff. And a really salty guy broke it down in the comments really like well, but also kind uh -oh. of, in, yeah. And it's going to sound salty, but I, once again, I have counters on both sides. So he, people are allowed to be salty because they paid money for this shit. Yeah. For, for the months. abridged stuff. Yes. Right. And so the, the issue is not that they're stopping. It's that they didn't tell people they were stopping for umpteen months and let yeah, people they continue just to donate let that's why know. people are angry uh people are disappointed because they like you said he said it best so basically what you're saying is you've lost time and interest and motivation and because you make more money off of gaming streams that you're just going to basically say abandon what makes you great and what your fans have come to love you for and once again that's a very salty kind of egotistical way to look at it but it's not wrong and at the same time, if you're pay if you're spending the money and you're asking them to do the bridge series, you want them to do the bridge. I'm not a Patreon subscriber, but I I support those yeah. guys for the abridged content. You yes. know what I mean? No, that's 100% always been mine too. Like I like their other content, but you're never going to catch me putting money towards uh their nuzlocks or whatever the else else crap they're doing um oh, and once again locks. all yeah they're i just heard about that because i watched the video on face randomly it's, it's probably because you've been hanging and around then, and then, and then, it was like an animated because i just did uh i just did a nuzlocke run and i just started another one for our my gaming stream uh damn man i think i'm gonna get like 60 or 70 episodes out of it by the time i cut it all that's a lot but i almost made it to the elite four and then I got fucking wiped because I couldn't figure out how to get out of this cave. <laughs> Wait, are you playing Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you don't know what a Nuzlocke a nu is. Yeah, uh, Nuzlocke so Nuzlocke is, is like yeah. hard mode Pokemon, basically. Yeah. You take. What? Yeah. They, how it's do an I adult. Get into oh, dude, it's so you dope. Do, there, yeah. yeah, there are rules online. You can check Reddit, but the basic rules of a Nuzlocke are: uh, you have to only catch. Normals. The, no, no, no. You only catch the first Pokemon you meet on every route. Mm -hmm. So once you get like a new thing that says Route Nine, you can only catch the first Pokemon you meet on Route Nine. If you kill it, you cannot. Uh -oh, it's, no, oh, I'm it's, about to do. Oh, it's so fun, dude! It's such, it's such actually a thrill because it makes it more challenging. You have to think. Like usually, you just go in, you grind out. You can't with this because it's like, all right, like I said, if 
you can only get that first Pokemon, right? Uh huh. If you kill it, you don't get it. So like you say, you just keep going. Yep, you have to keep going with however many Pokemon you still had. There are some like sub rules, like additional rules that help make it easier or harder for different levels that you want to do. But the basics are that if a Pokemon faints, it's dead. That's you it. have to take it to can't the revive mm, it. nope, it. can't revive Never. it. You take it to the Poke <laughs> Center and you put it in the computer or you release it. <laughs> I am not even showing you. <laughs> you you have to name every single Pokemon oh, yeah. Yeah. so that you have an emotional attachment yes. to it. <laughs> Oh, um, bro, you gotta go look it up. There's yeah, there's an animation does like oh, animation I watched, and it was like the perfect. I was like, what the? It explains it, was, it all. It was, it was it's so great. funny though. Uh, and, it was awesome. And that's part of the Nuzlocke thing. Is so the original Nuzlocke was done by I can never remember the name, but it's an artist who did a run, uh, and they they wanted to do a challenge, so they did the thing, and it's called the Nuzlocke because. So they, if you have a Pikachu at the beginning of face, that's it. You can't yep, use it it's, no done. More. it's done. It's yeah. done. Yeah. And once even you black, Pokemon Yellow everything man Here. like it, it doesn't matter once you get it and if you black out you lose you're done you have to start over or, okay <laughs> so like that's what happened to me is i i blacked out in in an area that was it i have to go release all my pokemon and start the game over or i had to start a new nuzlocke because i wasn't being careful enough i was also letting my stream yeah. i was letting oh. my stream pick the the fucking uh the attacks and stuff so can you not okay. potion and stuff no you potions? can potion you can oh, okay. help potion well it depends on the version you run so like hardcore nuzlocks no poke centers no potions oh, or now it's one or the other like you can't because you can't get through without one or the yeah. other i think yeah, but i think it's no potions potion or hypers if i think you can do poke centers and no potions or antidotes and stuff but usually you can run antidotes potions stuff uh there's uh so like the one i want to do is a variation called nuzlocked on and uh, basically, once a Pokemon is in, you can't take it out unless it kills something. So, like, let's say, you know, you threw out your thing and you get trumped by its weakness. You can't just pull it out. You're basically hit with a imprisoned. And so you're stuck and hoping that you didn't get fucked. It's just a way to make it extra hard. Because there are extra hard nodes. There's a, the one my friend wants to try called Wonderlock. Where you, uh, and you have to have the... Uh, DS for that one, mm -hmm. but you basically go and you do the regular catching. But whenever you catch something, you immediately just trade it for whatever anyone will trade you for, and that's your new Pokemon. That's wild, dude. There's Damn. so many Fuck fucking and get a Squirtle and oh, trade dude. it for a Pidgey or dude, some shit. They do have some exceptions, so like some, and it depends on the version you run. Like you have base rules and extra rules and people's individual Nuzlocks that they came up with. You know what I mean? But the basic rules are like you get your original starter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that's and whatever like the game gives you like it but you can't catch anything but that first pokemon in the area yeah so i'll be like route one i ran into a pidgey i can only catch, catch that. that pidgey and like i said because other rules might change the variation but say you ran into another pidgey first thing route two guess who has two pidgeys now <laughs> <laughs> now oh. some people run oh. the variation that you don't do duplicates so like then you would be able to kill that. I mean, right? it's like at that point, what you get a Pidgey and a Rattata, and you're done with that route. I mean, I'm telling you, do like the one in one. It's it's pretty insane. It now having said that, you still end up with like when you go back and look at how many routes and stuff are in Pokemon, you get up with a decent amount as long as you catch. You can Pokemon. make it to the Safari Zone. You'll be fine. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the real issue once again comes in with the fact that like once these things die, they're dead. So like my issue was like I went in, I did this, I like lost somebody, and he was like level 40 something he was one of my lich pin types so i had to pop in a level 30 or something to like level it up and leveling up is oh, dangerous yes. i had a fucking wobble fat kill one of my fucking main dudes with a fucking counter Ooh. <laughs> one shot so, this could be any pokemon version uh, i think so it pretty yeah. much applies to I any mean, hell they all play are the you same. playing pretty much that's no. so that's how is that how it, is i've it? heard it's it's i liked it i've liked heard it. it's very uh, kid -oriented. didn't they didn't they not introduce a bunch of pokemon like they well, blacked they're, out a lot of... they're they're bringing a bunch okay of so they're phasing anyway. them in and now they just brought pokemon home now so pokemon home is kind of like pokemon bank where you, can you were able to like put your stuff yeah. now so like if you have pokemon go now you can trade your pokemon go to the uh oh yeah uh, the thing is once you trade the po uh, po pokemon for pokemon go they're gone that's it you can to trade it back in um, oh, I think no. you That's can rough. do Pokemon Sword and Shield, and you can transfer over from. I can't remember the other one, but that one you can from, transfer yeah, back uh, to the port, back from to Pikachu port. and Eevee. 
I think so. Oh, that yeah, was oh, that ago. was one that you can transfer back and forth. Uh, I think there was there was some. You have to go look. There was a whole chart of like how they, they have I've a seen, huge. I've thing, seen the dude. chart of like all the Pokemon blacked out, and I was kind of like, mm, it's pretty insane, man. I don't know. I, I've heard good things about Sword and Shield, though. Honestly, yeah. every Pokemon person I've heard who's played it has been like, it's a Pokemon game. It's not the, too easy, though. I think. All right. I so, remember when I was playing a Pokemon game, that shit was. <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah. that is what I say with all of the new ones. Even the one I was playing, and I kept talking shit about it. And once again, the, I still feel like the only reason I lost my Nuzlocke is I was listening to my uh, chat instead of doing what I thought was best. Uh oh. And, like, literally, and I even talked to him, like, so basically, this guy had like saved because he was a former uh, uh, contest tournament Pokemon player, but he was just fucking around. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, he trolled you and said no, no, no. I mean, or... he obviously he knew, and I knew too. But I was just like, yeah, you know, it's fucking on stream. He's doing it. I'm having doing this to have fun too. I also didn't think my whole team was gonna get wiped after this because the one he got uh, killed was uh, Gyarados. That, like I said, that he had like saved it when it was a Magic card. By like he's like all right do this add special attack and i mean he saved it dude he, he like beat some like difficult pokemon evolved into gyarados i was like all right that's your pokemon now you tell it what to do when it comes up if you're around you get to decide what it gets all that good shit i don't give a shit you can you can kill it you can love it you saved it it's yours now Jeez, so it, and like this he even made it, it was it was fucking interesting so we went in and we're just like fighting this guy and he's like hyper beam and like, hyper beam and miss and so he gets hit and he's down to like low, maybe questionable health. And, he, and I'm like, all right, well, should we like switch out, heal, maybe, you know, do a different move? And he's like, nah, hyper beam him for the swag. Hyper beam again. No, no, like, he's like, hyper beam him for the swag. Oh my for this, God. For the stop points. And I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. And we do it. for the swag. And we did it and it, it missed because hyper beam is not 100% hit ratio. And that shit was uh, dead ass Gyarados. He even made a meme for the fucking no. page. Where it was, it was the fucking Thanos meme. He's talking to Dracini. He's like, "Did you hyperbeam? Yes. What did it cost? Everything." <laughs> and it did because I was stuck in a cave, but it wasn't a cave. It was like a rocket hideout or whatever. Oh no! And I couldn't get back to the entrance, so I had to go through the whole thing with five Pokemon and whatever potions I had. So I got to the last guy. I only had five Pokemon, and he wiped me with the one dude that like gets the steamrolling attack. No. Dude, that sucks. It was man. so they, but it made the meme more appropriate. It was Speaking like, what did it call? Oh, dude, man, I guess we could kind of move into Oscar stuff. Yeah, Oscar stuff yeah. would be a good area. They got totally snubbed. I, snubbed I can, in the it absolutely should have at least gotten some VFX. I mean, come on, 1917 was great. Don't get me wrong, but like the a VFX lot of that was classic. Pra- was real. Yeah, that That's was practice. That's not virtual or visual. Huh. The only thing was the plane and the explosions. I I'm like, did not see that they won visual yeah. Visual yeah they yep. were in be- 1917 VFX. i was like there were a couple things this uh, right? be best, even best, best, best story it got cinematography yeah sorry that wouldn't be best yeah. cinematography and, and that, that was that was well deserved but i was like visual effects yeah i wouldn't no, have done visual over effects. in-game i will Star say Wars yeah and, and i will say the only one that i would have even given the, the cinematography close to would have been joker which i thought had a major that was the lighthouse I did, I but I still. I would have gave it. I would have gave it to Lighthouse, possibly. I liked the, the Lighthouse's lighting, but the Joker just did such a good job with everyday, like areas. Like some of the lighting during the the daytime scenes are my favorite. They're like, smoky and smog with uh, greens, and they're just damn, and the way the light comes through. Yeah. Some of the lighting, the the framing. The, I think Barry a big Martin part Scorsese of it. In terms of frames, very I mean, the it's framing very, it's of pretty it, pretty much a uh, taxi will, driver and king of comedy. It, it was, yeah, yeah. It's, especially as far as framing goes. And I think that's really what got to me was that framing. I think fits the movie motif perfectly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The you know, he's like far, it's like far away at first, and then when he's more confident and stuff, it's more close. Yes, it's, like it, it just it makes him larger than yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of good it's stuff. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, but I, I well, will say I that's about 1917. Is that one take look? That one take part is what makes the cinematography for 1970. Oh, absolutely. But visual effects? No, nah, I wouldn't. That one's wild. Now, man. granted, practical effects are part of visual effects, but they just weren't that impressive in that, as Not opposed to any other war movie. Gunshots like, and explosions. Like and I said, I've seen, seen those that, in though. Michael Bay movies. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. The Saving Private Ryan. We've right. Seen yeah. like, like that, that. It's That's been done. It's not... I wanted to see the full-scale military alien war 
get an award for why so that's a lot that's, of that's, that's a lot right the, the opening of the portal scene alone trumps basically every other virtual effects scene done this year the because moment when cat calls the hammer that right oh. there is just that's a good scene. Oscar worthy yes, right there, man. And like, that's it. like, I, and obviously I'm biased. I love Marvel, but I feel like the critics are definitely biased against Marvel at the box office. Like, well, even like we keep getting Suicide Squad getting makeup awards why, for what Killer What the fuck Clock? was that? Come on. What the fuck was that? He and looked like what else got, got a, like a, a giant well, Joker got a couple, which you know, I, that best one, actor definitely deserved. Yeah. I was, I thought, you know, that was my only thing. I really I like, like the Joaquin cinematography Phoenix. and I I like him, but I don't know if I would have given best actor for that performance. I still think Heath Ledger is, uh, is no, better. I, I do still like yeah, Heath Ledger I mean, better. You, you can't get But I think that's that, versions of Joker stuff. as opposed to depictions of Joker. So like, I think he portrayed perfectly what he was attempting to portray. I like Heath Ledger's version, version of man. the Joker better than the version of the Joker they had Joaquin Phoenix Joaquin's play. Joker, though, is almost like a build-up to... It very much yeah, is... is uh, no, it's, it's kind of a, a prequel very Joker. Joker. It yeah, very yeah, much yeah, is yeah. becoming the Joker, which is... And like I said, that the what I love going around the uh, comic forums is like, it's not a comic book movie. It very much isn't a comic no, book movie. No, no. It's very the guy much who a, even did Yeah, he says he disguised like, it as a He's like, I, didn't do, I don't do comic book movies. I'm just doing this as a movie. Well, <laughs> he did say, though, he was fighting the studio forever to make that movie. Like, oh, I'm like, absolutely oh, sure. it's a comic book movie. We don't really want to move forward with it. Which it's it not. It took him a lot yeah, of fighting and, to get that uh, done. And it definitely is. Because it uses a comic book character, I can see why they did that. But very much in the same way that Logan... Is it really a comic book movie? No. Which it, that got so snubbed. Uh, like, I tell you, every Joker great, all this shit. Like I said, I like the Joker. It emotionally it's not does Logan, not compare. Not Logan, no, no, that's that's ending not. scene. Yeah, the ending. Yeah, scene, I mean, even the, just like oh, the opening no. scene of Logan when he's just getting out of car, he's old from, and he's know, broken. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very much a big. And granted, like I said, and I will give it to that, there's a lot of things that make some of those movies on Marvel side great are the buildup of the universe, but that doesn't take away. Is Bond not great because he's got a universe of Bond movies behind right, him? No, right. it makes all make the references. Right. It makes all the references much more enjoyable. It makes the, the thing, it's just, it, it shocks and astounds me how the, and that's why I've never really given the Academy a lot of things. I mean, no. Argo won. Right. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. You didn't know that Argo won Best Picture? No, this year it was Parasite. It was, but that, that you Argo that, won. Yeah, Argo won in what twenty fourteen? Yeah, something 20, like thirteen. Who was in Argo? That oh was God! Like, um, Shit, Affleck. Yeah, that's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Affleck, right? Yep. Yeah. And I, I like Affleck. I just didn't like him as Batman. And now with now with Battinson coming out, did you see all of the people like either comparing switching? and stuff? Like, and I'm oh, like, what? what? Uh, I don't know. He might be worse than um, Batfleck, or oh yeah, this is much better. It's like this. It's, it's a still different stuff. Batman. It's, it's a different it's... Batman. And the thing There's is, no... I've always and it astounds me so much. But it's all personal perspective. Yeah. Like, yeah. and there's not people... much to go off of. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. There's not much to go off yes. of right now. And like you said, it's personal opinion at that point. Like you said, because I their fanboy yeah. comes out in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It just based off the look alone, we haven't heard him speak. Right. He hasn't said a word. Now, to be fair, there are some things about the look that are good and bad. Uh, I I gotta get a more full scale I do, before I give a but full judgment. I'm not. I'm only judging on the things that I can see. And the one thing that I can see, the two things. One, love the whether or not it's a gun or or the things I like. I like the, the look of that metallic. Plate. Yes, I like. The, I the wish Arkham it had ears. Kind of style yeah, that I do like. I wish it had ears or a more uh, classical shape. But I still like it. I like the design. The bat suit design, with as, except for the collar, looks amazing. Looks like Arkham Knights. And this is something Christian Bale's from Batman was fucking guilty of too. But he has a face cut. The cutting of the fucking jawline on the face mask. Like the jaw is cut out. No, like or... it's it's actually up, up by the fucking dome. It's not the jawline. It's the brow line. Like. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? And and they've done edits that make it look more extreme. But even when it's regular, so like I have no idea what you're talking. I'm gonna about. have to pull it up for you and like point it out because it is such a and it's such a little. The thing. only critique I really have is that the cow looks a little cheap. 
compared to the rest of the costume. So yeah. I think the cow looks a little bit like uh, like the actual it looked, mask. It looked like a leather kind of cow. Yeah, and everything else looked kind of like metallic yeah. and kind of. I, I don't want to say cyberpunk, but almost like it was a little more gear I, or metallic. It yeah. looked like military gear for me, like very much like the Arkham thing, like plated armor. Plated armor, yes. That's which it looked, it looked like movable. It looked good. Here we go. Oh no, that's a fan art. <laughs> I can never get good stills, which is such a thing. That thing. Yeah. The, oh, the yeah. The like brow. And, and, and Bale's Batman had it too. And mm -hmm. I hated that part of his new costume. And I still don't like it. That and the little neck thing. Besides that, I don't mind the jaw cut. There, That's classic Batman jaw line. Yeah, the jaw cut in line. Yeah, that's, real from, uh, that's Adam West good. Batman. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of what that reminded me a lot of Adam yeah. West too right there. Just, they said, everyone's bitching about it. Like one of the looks old. kind of Adam It does when you... Costume. It yeah. absolutely does. You can see yeah, when the you, leather when lines on his like, it up, Yeah. Well, yeah, even on in the regular like, picture, like you can see the leather line like stitching here. By yeah, his... yeah, right there on his nose, right there. Especially. There's some too. There's yeah, I always them. see the ones here, but it's because it's right next to the part I don't like. There's like a little one here. A little one I gotta here. say, I Let's didn't see. like Bat, like Ben Affleck as Batman, but his suit was. Awesome. It was suit on was point. Awesome. Luke, everything, Luke, right. everything about his suit was 100 percent on point, except for the ears. I, I was not a part, fan of I, the tiny I didn't ears. mind the ears. I no thought, I was like, ears. dang, this Batman is huge. Like in BBS, uh, JL is chunky. But like in, B in, BBS, in BBS, he was a little he was better. Jacked like, up. In, and people forget about that. Like, even then, though, like when you, that's my problem is seeing it at the side, like, especially knowing VFX, you can see where they either are cutting or Chanceled like. them a little. And which isn't bad. I will, but I will say that they're like, that's the most comic accurate Batman. Well, that's because they've thinned his waist down. If he's as thick as he normally is, he doesn't have an athletic build. No, he just looks like a big brick. He's yeah, right, he's, he's a big, thick man, which you end up typically being at two, 300 pounds. You know what I mean? Which is why Batman is a very, you know, pinnacleist representation of humanity. Yeah, you know I mean? he's 300 he pounds like with that. the athletic build. Yeah. And the, yeah, that's rough. That you're takes. look like a block. At 300 like pounds, oh, like yeah. a brick wall, man. But like I said, you wall. can get there, but it's you have a body type, a very specific body type. You've done training for every day of your life, and, like and and the look. We didn't really get a good look at his body. No, that's it's very thing. much. We don't really get to see like has he trained up? Is he chiseled? No, and I will say he's definitely a bigger Batman, which I like how people are so concerned with it. But like you know, Tom Cruise is like five seven no one ever gives a shit ever because he's it's all tight. about how you film the people yep. like it doesn't matter and he's always filmed in like really thick boots oh yeah like, or standing on a box. box yep or on a box yep those are his two scenes he doesn't like the box though so they got boots. <laughs> so which they i like feel like <laughs> no which is why they got in boots which i feel like the boots would be worse than the box yeah because then you know right to put them on too right but yeah so is how tall is robert pattinson Oh, six one, six two. He's a pretty tall he's a pretty guy. Tall guy yeah, actually. I think he's, six he's about five. about the right height for Batman. You need to be pretty tall for Batman. It's about six. Oh, I don't even know Batman's height off the top of it, but it's tall, man. Like he should be pretty tall. Yeah, he's Cause, six one. Because yeah, tall guy. Because uh, Affleck is actually taller than Batman. Is what people forget. Here we go. Batman height comparisons. Comic book. Uh, in 1939, 188 centimeters. So Batman is 16. Yep. Okay. He 10. Which so is... that's about Pattinson. That's that's perfect. They said he's not too bad. He's he's, bad he's got to put on some weight. Oh, he's uh, six four. Yeah, he's so taller. He's tall. And he's actually heavier than Batman too. Well, that was pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my much though, but it's the weight in the wrong areas is the problem. <laughs> Sadly. But yeah, the the next closest would have the actual closest is Adam West. Adam West has absolutely been the closest to count comic book Batman. There's no question. He's 188 centimeters flat within two or three pounds. Uh, there's no question. He was physically the most accurate Batman, at least in height. And Adam like, West. Yeah. 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 And he just, I mean, looks wise, like, you know, the classic look, he, he nails it. He, he nails definitely very like, much. I would say out of all the Batman costumes, his is the most comic accurate to oh, the Oh, absolutely. And to be fair, that, it, that 60s Batman look, that's perfectly how it oh, looks. Oh, yeah. And it, to be fair, it translates in a very comedic and style yeah. back when Batman was more comedic. <laughs> Although at the time when the comics were not. No. Yeah. Well, see, actually, 
I don't know. There's a documentary. Watch. Oh, that. but that's early Batman, like forties. Yeah, forties. Because what happened is that Batman wasn't. Like, he was very like, like dark. Yeah, he was dark very in the sixties. And then when the sixties came around, then his Mid- whole perspective late. of who Batman was kind of changed. It really changed around because it was like, from the then, gold to silver age yes. stuff. Where yeah. the Silver Age, they kind of were like, all right, we need to bring it in and kind of make things a little yeah, less I mean, dark. a little bit goofier, like you yeah. said, comedic. Or yeah, they things. definitely added more comedy. I feel like they just t- lightened the tone up for kids. Because remember that originally they were done, but they weren't necessarily done as for kids. Like, comics were just put in newspapers. Yeah. And, and they were just stories. This is kind of out of left field, but is Batman Brave and the Bold kind of, like, goofy? I never um, watched the, that Batman. The one. show, yes. Yeah, the show is like Batman. at least from what I can tell, it's very much done in the comic style of like, you know, the old school animated series where like you will have serious stakes, but characters make jokes and there will be comic. Okay, yeah. Oh, and they're doing the kapow kind of. Yes, thing. that 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 <laughs> is very much. <laughs> yeah, so that's very goofy. <laughs> Maybe like not that. all the time too much for that, but yeah, they definitely do the jokes. Nothing and, like, with I'm animated. T A S. No, it's it's very much difficult. Animated to... series is it's hard to beat. I heard they're supposed to come back. He wants to do the original creator. Wants to do another. He, another he does, season? but so far they're oh just God. doing a comic for. That's what I heard. Just a comic yeah. They just have right a comic. That's right okay. Now. Yeah, I can that's start. Good. Honestly, uh, yeah. Samurai Jack did that and then yeah. did God. They did a couple. Show that last season cool was amazing. It was really good. I just, the ending, the ending pissed yeah. me off so it bad. It did, but it was really yeah. well written. It was like, well written. It, it was, was done. It's so like, why? Why? It, broke, <laughs> it broke. It broke the trope, bro. It had something new and amazing, Still, and we hated no. it. And I was Still. like, no, I know, and that's why people don't like, like I said. It. They like something new they need but not but they just no new. don't go off the road off the ramp. no, no they, they want to take to a happy. detour <laughs> through the scenic route but you need to get to the same destination everybody got to be happy and did like, y'all watch fully coolie season two i did not get to which is so it pisses me off because the wife of uh now little caribo a uh, little caribo is voices uh one of the main characters in season two wait oh, wife of who Little Karibo, the original creator of a bridge series of a Yu-Gi-Oh bridge, his wife what? works on that. And I didn't know Karibo himself voices one of the characters in the new Hunter Hunter. Mm-hmm. It's just a minor character in one of the later episodes. See, they but... get jobs and shit. St- no, he still does his shit. shit. He does his shit. To be oh, fair, okay. he's had a uh, come on. Come on. He's Don't... had massive health issues. He's been in the hospital like three or four times in the last couple of months. Damn. Dude. He's he's been having That's like tough. this weird like thing. And the last time he went, he like couldn't. He wasn't coherent. Like he couldn't like say his name or like. He, he's better oh. now, but like he was having some issues with medication and like all kinds of shit. So he's had like a couple mm-hmm. uh, go not go from like Kickstarter or whatever to like get medical get back on. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, but he he is actually say people have even asked like what what's up with season five and he's like it's going boys because <laughs> he's he's, he's a real one on. like. And I think that's what pisses me off a little bit about the TFS guys. I'm like, and I know they put in more work, lots of episodes, and it's a bigger group, harder to manage, but Karibo's still got more episodes out than they do, and he does it by himself, basically. Jeez. At least for the very early parts he did. Now he gets help with editing and other right, stuff. Right, right, right. But, he... but he still basically scripts, writes, and voices every Jeez. fucking character by himself. Jeez. Mm-hmm. That's when you know you have somebody... Who cares? Who cares about yeah, their he and he always. Doing, it's yeah. so funny too because I never knew stuff like until I got into like. I've been trying to like research, you know, the paths up. It's like how did these car- people like get big on YouTube, or what was their goal? How did they like start? He just like made it one day after watching Yu Gi Oh for the first time. He was Holy like, shit. "I like this, and I want a fan dub." What? Yeah. And so he made a shitty fan dub and everyone loved it. And he got on like a week later. He's like, they're like, when's episode two come out? He's like, oh shit, I guess I got to make yeah, an episode shit. two. That's kind of how it happened, you know? Just oh, yeah, like, like something. But yeah, that, it's so crazy to me that all those things are coming out and they are getting jobs. And like, That's I think good. it's uh, one of the TFS guys was in one of the Dragon Ball Z movies. I, I love so when those, like, uh, those people start off like that. Like the uh, Pokemon drawer who's doing realistic pokemon yes those they are actually cool. hired, yeah. they hired to do the, the pokemon, pokemon movie. movie yeah which, which is those awesome look amazing. yeah they did a good job on that story but like the pokemon looks great yeah. and that's what the movie was about yeah. so let's be honest that's the thing. it's all about it what so the movie believable like like a pokemon was just like in our world you know and it just felt it just like it there. was real it, it, it was it, like bringing go to the next level yeah, basically like hell i could catch a pikachu for real it's like come here <laughs> get right. in this ball 
So Joker, Slavers. eleven nominations at the Ooh, Oscars. That is a lot too. Seem like a little much to you guys. I, I think, think there was obvious bias, and I think that's. that's I think it's really hard to even deny at certain points when it's like, all right, like Joker did well. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it didn't even do that much better than Aquaman, as well, far I as money it. was. I, 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 I did. Say, I love no, and it was a great movie. It was much better than Aquaman, but financially and realistically, publicly. It didn't do that much better than Well, Aquaman. it did a billion, though. And for Rated R, that's that is a record. That's, that was the record. That was. Beat. It did beat. And the, it is it, the most grossing comic book. Like, it's the most... What am I trying to say? I guess it made the most money. Like, right, it, which it is important. It wasn't the highest box office no. return, but and, it made But that's the most not the money. important part, and that's what people forget. Because people always pull, pull up box, box office mm-hmm. returns. Right. You yes, need gross yes. profits. Yeah, yeah money which profits are, is what I'm trying right. to say. Well, it's not even profits, because gross. It's got to be gross, because profits don't take into account expenses. Gross is after expenses, after payouts, after all the things it costs, the, how much bu- you made. Yeah, budget versus gross, all that money in between, that was the most. Because I, I, which I can see, micro budget. Which because it had no there's effects. No yeah, yeah, there's, there's nothing. It's one it's just, big actor and, and no that, effects. Yeah, that's yeah, that's there's it. probably just, sixty. Well, there's the the budget. Budget. There are probably sixty a- I'm gonna say, actors in the whole movie, not including the crowd scene. What are you gonna say? Fifteen. No, that's probably still about 50. 50. 50 mil? Just for the camera. Point yeah. Which How is much? basically as li- that's okay, basically okay. as little money as you can make a major motion oh, picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, like there, you can't get much lower. So that one I can definitely see, and that I game, will give them. Like 250, but even still, like the money it made. Now, granted, the two billion dollars, yeah. highest grossing of all time, gentlemen. The and once again, it would still <laughs> technically have the most gross, just not percentage wise. Yep, not and that's the, the difference. Because it still made more money, even after gross, than Joker did. But relatively, the Joker cost Less. 60 towards a million. So it cost one fifteenth of its total revenue. Exactly. Whereas uh, Endgame, Endgame costs cost like, like 300. So that would have been one eighth of its total and revenue. And that's not even counting like marketing, like Avengers Endgame marketing. Was oh, yeah. Huge. Well, neither was theirs, that's though. That's another like the 200. Thing. That's oh, yeah. 500 million. But the right Joker there. had some pretty decent marketing for this. Oh, yeah. As they well. were not near, hard, nowhere near yeah. as yeah, much. Yeah, I would as... say it was probably about 40, 40 another, million. Really... It was probably 100 mil flat yeah. for the whole movie. Versus Endgame, though, which is half a million. Like or half a billion, yeah. Million. Probably about half a billion, I'd say, they put in on that once you consider it all. And to be fair, it's a much better movie, in my opinion, in many ways. It's got so many more. I think it's kind of hard to compare. One is more of like a superhero movie, and the others. They are two different things. They're two different things. One is the culmination of a 30 movie masterpiece, and one is a movie that is a good movie, but does not have any. Leanings no are buried. Yeah. There's no universe. So, like, it's they're so comparable mm. to a certain degree, but one is just, like I said, I, I just can't compare them because in my mind, Endgame just meets all the marks better because it has all this history. Like, that's not the down Joker. Once Joker and DC get another 10 movies in and then make a movie like exactly. the Joker with that, they will have the same level of impact as Endgame. Now, but until then, it's not the same yeah. kind of cinematic achievement in my mind. Well, they're just different. Say that. What do you think now they're doing with this Batman? Is it going to be I part, of this? part of the like, DCU? I'm so confused. Is it? Yeah, it is. Now. It, they're going to the, fuck themselves up real everything. bad. Then real they bad they life. cannot like even if it's a good movie, they will fuck themselves over. Yep. You have to maintain continuity. There is n- even in comics even now, the general audience is going to be like, okay, what the hell? Where's what? Where's the last Batman? Why is Batman two inches shorter and like a hundred pounds lighter? Like I don't get it. Batman, where did you go? Which Batman is this? Yeah. DC I mean, Multiverse crossover. They're going to they're gonna mess with the fan base doing that. They're going to mess with oh. the fan base taking a turn. Because remember, it, Shazam was like a, a comedic movie. And that I was thought they were trying, trying, to do, they're trying to do Marvel kind of stuff yeah, now. And and it's like, they're like, they're they were copying. doing all right. It was all right for some of the stuff. And to be fair, the, it, with the exception of Joker... The only movies they have that have done well are the ones that are copying off of Marvel. Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman heavily cops, Aquaman heavily cops, Shazam, Shazam heavily, heavily cops. Copied. It's it's, it's working people, for them. It's a good for- film. That is the formula for comic book movies. Yeah, the Joker made a critical movie and it made it very well. Very good movie. It's more of like a film, you know. That's more of yeah. a cinematic experience. Yep. The it's that, Avengers it's a cr- Endgame and the other 
movies are more like a roller coaster ride. Right. It's they fun. are for enjoyment, enjoyment, not for I'm critical. And uh, Scorsese doesn't and, like them. <laughs> That's exactly what yeah, like, he was like. Uh, I mean, like I'm sure, me. which is why they've made more money than all of his movies combined. But hey, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, two billion dollars—that's a lot of mo- money, man. That's just from one movie, man. And like, that's don't the highest even housing of all time, all time. Like, like the only one without an Oscar. I they know. couldn't just give them visual effects. Like, the thing is, it definitely. All that stuff. It, honestly, the there were brothers deserved something for doing this. That was just... uh, at least a nom or something. They gave Black like Panther I said, there was, all these accolades. All there were this so stuff. many nom. Like I said, there were so many miss uh representations on that where they were just like pushing it off either on the wrong thing or and I, I obviously and i'll say this with no bias and i can we can look at the histories of performances of movies critical exception of movies uh marvel always gets snubbed yeah the they films. do but, but snub, last, last snub. year they did it black panther got eight nominations i was yeah. like and all right this is fair for marvel win. It was still only won three of them. Yep. And I was thinking, like, you know, Endgame would probably come out with, like, at least four nominations. It needed some. It especially needed being, like, like I said, you can make critical claim claims as much as you want. You want to know the unbiased opinion? Money. People spend money on something they yeah. like. And they also, the, the movie campaign spend money for Oscar campaigns and stuff. So. Yeah. Well, that's why I said the campaign, like I said, you want to look at it for movie is good, whether or not, you know, critical, blah, blah, blah. And it's the same, like you said, people will say that for McDonald's, but guess what? McDonald's, granted it's cheap and shitty, they made the best hamburger for the price. Yep. By statistical market thing. Now, critically, you can personally not like the flavor of it at all, but guess what? Statistically, that burger sells better Every, every single other burger. other burger and that might be not be true anymore for mcdonald's but i'm just using that as an example like yes these are subjective things movies and art and things but if you are going to compare them there are objective comparisons and they they shouldn't be ignored in favor of uh some random uh, group of five people's opinions on a movie Remember no. uh, last year they were trying to make the action movie category, like the popular movie category, and yeah. people went off about it. Yeah, oh, it's like, because they, you know, they ask, or uh, when you think of these, these, you know, those awards, they they think of the movies to be at a higher class. It's more of higher caliber yeah, yeah. level. Which is and so then funny when to me because... involve an action kind of Marvel amusement kind of movie. They're yeah. like, what the hell? This is not... See, no, and it's no, so funny to me these. because... But, but just... I was like, just one award <laughs> category for those. Like, oh. think about it. Last year would have been like Mission Impossible oh, 6, Avengers Infinity War, um, and then you would have had like all the other movies. There that, would have been a lot, blockbuster like, but, you know, yeah. anything that would have fallen into that the, would have been cool, uh, like Fast John Wick, yeah. get a nomination or something. Yeah, like, which that it would should have cool. anyway for some other stuff. Let's be honest, choreography, oh, fight man. choreography should have gotten. Oh, well, see, stunts yeah. needs to be a category. That needs absolutely, stunts needs there to be an absolute, Oscars category. And this is it's why I don't respect the Oscars. Let's be honest, it's a very biased and. And it's the same thing I'll tell you, even watching our critical review here, you should listen to the critics with whom's opinion you agree. <laughs> because that's the point of listening to a critic. Critics have no special like, qualifications. Just because someone watched a bunch of movies or went to film school doesn't make them any better at like understanding a film or liking a film or knowing what you will like. You look for, they don't know what you like. Yeah, exactly. you look for the, the critic that you agree. You yeah, so you find someone who likes the things you like. You find the critic that... You know, he's like, oh, I like Sonic. And they're like, well, I like Sonic. And here's this. So that when they do review something you haven't seen, they're like, well, yeah, they probably, probably agree with them. Yeah. 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 I, I agree with their opinions most of the time. So I want to watch their shit. I mean, Sonic was, I got to say, Sonic, yes. they did what I wanted them to do. They did a yeah. good job. And I'm really glad Absolutely. that it worked out because I know when I seen that first trailer, I was I was afraid. I man, Even yeah. seeing the second one, I was like, wow, the, the Design is better, but I will say I was surprised. Kind of, I was like, I liked the I second trailer. Yeah, I didn't think the fan amazing. base was going to come through. I didn't think that the people were going to show their appreciation like they did. And like, you know what's crazy? I didn't think this younger generation really knows Sonic. Yeah, but they love Sonic. I think it's just because he's got the design. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think it's because even because you were you no. Know, but kids it was are you fans or somebody else saying that their kids love Sonic, just love Sonic, and then. 
But kids love Sonic now, still. Yeah. Like, Sonic yeah. is like Mario, you know? He's yeah. transcended he's through just, the He's just, he's there, you know? He is. He's and, never and that's what I'll kind of say. is like, I think he's just nope. popular. <laughs> yeah, he's a but popular he, character. He has been culture. a character, though, that has kind of not been in the spotlight like all the other ones. No, he like, even less than like Mario. And, and, yeah, even less than Mario and... Um, just saw Especially these other recently, he's faded out. Oh, very much. Game. Game. Yeah, that's he's... another thing. There is there. I haven't played the Sonic game. No, he's very much been constrained years. in the comic books. And oh, then, and shows. That, that's the only he did thing have a I show. Yeah, now is just the that. comic books, which does a really good job of. They do good on the comics. of his story. They do. Everything. I, I like, like the it. comics. They, well, they do I, good. And on I the will sales say too. that TV show Sonic Rush, I think, is what it's called. Is it came out is another one? Very popular. Well, it ended in 2018. Oh, I think. okay, that one. Okay. Yeah, but it was very oh, popular. That's surprising to me. Like through its run, it was very popular like, with the kids. Especially even though Knuckles looked like a fucking oh, idiot. Oh God, I did. Hear God, that, that design was. I did hear about that. I horrible. never saw that one. Uh, let me cool. see if I can pull it up. Yeah, for you. that was called What's Sonic. Sonic I, Boom. I, wasn't I, it? Sonic Boom. Yeah, that's what it's called. I will say I'm very surprised at that, especially yeah. just because of the Cartoon amount Network. of stuff. Oh, you know what, you guys? Should, I just watched it. I don't know if you, got, you guys should just watch and see what you think of it. But me and my son just watched the uh, Thundercats Roar oh, show. Oh, the new one. Yes. I heard that the... Yeah, that he was a very look tall like he's been hitting the very... gym with the broskies. Like, <laughs> yeah. That, that's... Like, you're like, dude, we gotta go to the that ain't gym, right. bro. <laughs> bro. That ain't right at all. His demeanor is at least on point, but well, no, he acts like a fucking goof in Does the show. He? I heard he acts oh, like yeah, like yeah. a silly like he idiot. looked like right there where he was like, you know, I'm Knuckles. I'm apparently kid. he's like super annoying and like just a fucking huge goofball. And I'm like, that's not that's not the Knuckles, Knuckles. I remember. Like Knuckles, no, like you said, was cool been, and long Knuckles long was the original Shadow. Like yeah, you said. he was very wolf, much that like chill. I'm the badass of the yeah. group. Like I don't care. I'm the anti-hero. You can go screw yourself. I'll I'll run as fast as Sonic, but only if I give a fuck. Right, like he doesn't care. He doesn't. Well, you have to check out that Thundercats. Thunder right? Suit. You think? Of okay, it it, it kind of had like a Steven I thought, Universe. I look. thought it was not gonna happen at first because they announced it like two long time years ago. ago, and then they showed like a um the creator showed like you know the process and they showed the intro and everything, and they got so much backlash I think just from that, and then I think I thought I was like okay it's done they're not gonna do it now because. Nobody wants to see it. And nah, then, once, once no, they it, put it, stuff it, out, it's it usually up, funny. I, and... Now that the new year came up, Cartoon Network always does like a commercial, some sort of show, all the new stuff yeah. that comes this year. And Thundercats Roar was on their list well, of this year. You got to remember, oh, especially no. for companies like that, as opposed to like maybe Netflix or things, like these things are made like a year in advance. Like, yeah. They, it was already finished by the time they were showing you how it well, was made. You I know just didn't I mean? th- I thought maybe the fan backlash would have just. Right, but if it's Steven already made, he got, he got a lot of death threats. The guy, the crazy. I'm surprised about he that. did. Well, I guess I'm not like that Steven surprised. Universe look like a more toned no, down. it's more. You know how they do that cartoon kind of version of everything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kind that's of like kind that. Of it does. Goofish. Yeah, it's very goofy. I mean, there is some funny things I did laugh at. Like there was some, there was a part where it just um, seems less. It's a very, they're serious. going a very comedic route. That yeah. is it. Very comedic yeah. route. They're not going serious with it at all. No, it almost looks like a Rick and Morty parody of. Um, I, think yes. I mean, there's one part where he's in the. They crash land and then he. Uh, Tigra, tight, whatever. Tigra. And he comes in and he's like, Where are you? I don't know. He's like, I'm stuck in the in here. And he goes, yeah, Oh, would you just say? reminds me of like the Steven Yeah, universe, yeah very much. And he goes, oh, oh, yeah, you're right. He's like, Side of uh, whatever. He goes, uh, Hole in the wall. <laughs> and he just makes a hole in the wall. And then, yeah, they're just like yeah. And then there's one goofy. part where he he does do the ho or uh, thunder, th- and then he keeps he does. But then when he does after the third time, he goes oh thunder, 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 and it just keeps getting bigger, bigger, bigger. This starts like a big giant ass sword, and then he just <laughs> uh, yeah. So I like I said, they're going the very I mean, comedic route. I, I would definitely really see it. I just I definitely also don't agree with it, but I see the backlash coming because originally Thundercats was a very serious yes. show. Yes. Yeah, action packed. Yeah, it was. Like, it, was heroic, it was a teen like comic, a huge, pitch. like heroic, like it was a '90s show. But let's the thing be is, kids yeah, don't like you know, adventure cartoons anymore. It's no, which was, yeah. we grew up on. We grew up on a lot of those, like, like Teen Gargoyles, Titans and Gargoyles. Adventure, yeah, very much story based. League, you know, like Batman the, animated now series. Now everything is more. That was the '90s for you, though. Route, '90s, early 2000s. Yep. were really about and that storytelling. The comedy and action. <laughs> So yeah, we got shows like Gumball, which I, you know, I will, I like Some those shows. Those fine, shows are yeah. good. Some of I them are good. About, I think it's about the content. 
right? Yeah. Like, because I agree. Like, even my older brother, uh, when his son used to watch it, uh, really like Gumball and like a mix of animation and like picturesque. And there is and... little Easter eggs there for like the older generation that yeah. they do oh, good, like, good. I like but, that kind of but stuff. But I think it's geared towards that. It's very much family setting and kind of like these. And I think the animation cool. too is what really brings me in because they 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 do so cool animation like where there'll be one character where it's like look like he was hand drawn, but then right next to him will be a three D character. Okay. And then in the background will be somebody. like a full like actual phono realistic yeah. background it's very interesting <laughs> and that's what i would say it's gotten a lot of good notes from me and other people and even other stuff like granted they weren't the best but their shows are purpose to be that way with yeah. like adventure time or the regular show they're meant to be non kind of linear I know. but Thundercats, thundercats is it though like that's my thing like i wouldn't like certain characters in that way like star wars Star Wars shouldn't be done that way. If they unless did it's, something like that. Unless it's R2-D2 and 3CPO. Don't watch CPO. Resistance, then. Oh, is that right? Don't oh, watch is. Resistance. That shit is fucking childish, man. God damn it. That's for some kids, well, What do you guys man. think now that they're Well, like, there's kids the... and then there's Wars? Just... That's I've been trying to catch up on now. Wait, man. Because Rebels had, like, a style that was... Rebels wasn't bad, but, like, some of the drawing, I was kind of like, ah, they, like, the lightsabers were, soft. like, super yeah. thin. I'm just not a fan of that they animation. Soft, dude. Yeah, the animation The 3D was... kind of, like, not very realistic 3D animation. Yeah. Like, like, when you when you watch the Ahsoka versus Darth Vader stuff, I was kind of like, ah, this would be cool if it was Clone Wars, because they animated so differently, but... Yeah. Animation in Clone Wars. Yeah, it, I, I love Clone Wars. Clone Wars that's is just amazing. staple, you know what I mean? Classic. I never really watched it when I was little, but now that I'm watching it, it's yeah, it's really good. It's, I just finished the well, you're doing Rebus. it in the yeah, I'm actually trying to do it in the actual supposed the con, uh, continuity you're supposed to watch. It. Oh, yeah, they say if you watch it from the first season to the whole, it's that's, all out of the loop yeah, because not the actual what they continuity. said it's it was supposed to be like a old school radio broadcast. That's why when they do the very beginning, it's that guy who's introducing it. And, in those days when they did it, it was just kind of like a story, you know, and, mm -hmm. and then maybe next next week would be, a bit, your characters would be in a different right, right. story. Or, or, and then one guy would be dead, and then you'd be like, so well, it's like not me. linear. It's yeah, all so that's just kind of no, how they, And they very much did that with radio shows and stuff. So. And that's, and it, it translates to that. I mean, it's cool. And I don't know, like, like I said, once again, coming from that generation of storytelling and deep action and plots and, you know, less of the everyday kind of humor and life and kind of shenanigans it's that, over yeah over and over. they're gone basically like the, there's just so much out there for people to watch yeah which is so, so much like content. you know the movie industry is basically dying tv television television well i mean well not i mean mm, uh, i was i would i, I would think it's thriving. Different. it's thriving it's just yeah. going towards streaming, streaming right now. so that's not television I mean, we got though, lord of the rings now it's, it's not a, amazon, amazon and, right and, it's not and broadcast so tv right it's broadcast, broadcast television, television which yes. is cable which is essentially what television was you know what i mean it, it even if if you go by that fact we've the even, tv's been dead because we don't use televisions anymore we use uh well, monitors. Monitors. Yes. smart TVs yes. with Netflix on yes. them now. Well, yes. Right, but they're not, that's the thing, we call them smart TVs. These are monitors. These aren't televisions. Like, televisions were uh, antennas and tubes. shit. These tubes. Yeah, yeah the television's been dead. Done. But in the modern sense of broadcast, broadcast is done for. Like, yeah, it's streaming exists, is taking over. But most of broadcast exists supplementary to internet. Yep. Like, I have broadcast because it's packaged with my internet and I couldn't get internet without yeah, that. That's the only thing. One thing's for sure. With or without cable, I don't think I'm gonna finish Arrow, fellas. I'm <sighs> trying. Just... I got to season three or four, and I just couldn't make it any farther. I got man. to like six, dude. What are they on? Eight so or nine? They they ended with eight. Did so they end like it on eight? Yeah. Aren't they like? like it's just so now. hard. Like and this is, oh, yeah, this, this is from the guy. This is from the guy who finished time the traveling humans. shows and the and the fucking. What was the one? Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, Legends, yeah. God, uh, Supergirl. Supergirl. They all cross over yeah. in episodes. And actually, those are the better the episodes. Crew, the crossover episodes are what make the DC. Yeah, universe. those are the, the better The most recent ones. one being the most, and I will give them that, is Crisis probably on the Infinite. Yeah, yeah that, that was probably was the biggest good. crossover of, of uh, any it's a big event. comic event. Huh? It, it is, but the, the Crisis, Fuck they actually shit, pulled, though. they pulled <laughs> all of their uh, characters from multiple TV series, from Yes, movies, movies. networks. Yes, that's movies. what I heard. Yeah, they, Kevin it was Conroy very was ambitious and done well. <laughs> Kevin Con yep, Kevin yeah, Conroy, Conroy was, was Batman. a Batman. <laughs> like I said, they pulled more people than you would have ever thought. And having said that, doesn't mean it's good. 
Um, it's a mess, man. It's I'm all sure over it's the place absolutely and crazy. I just, I, I'm like, how can they keep running these shows? Uh, because DC fans just are diehards and yeah, they don't care. Like I said, wh- the, whatever's in is the last, the last one is always the best one, right? That's the, the DC mindset. The woman, I don't think so. Like I said, the ba- the mindset of DC is the last one that that just went in was always the worst one, but DC is amazing and we'll watch the next one. That's always the mindset. It's like, all right, well. It's, you know, we we hated this, but Snyder's gonna be the best thing ever. I'm I'm or not Snyder watching that Batwoman. Best. That's all I know. I man. am not getting to it. He, it's it, just not worth my time. Like it? No, I I seen the commercials, but I just not interested. Like, I have yeah. so much other stuff to read, to watch. You know, like I still gotta finish I still so gotta many other runaways. Series. Finish yeah, runaways. I, still I gotta, gotta finish catch up on that. It. I gotta finish. I still gotta finish Legion, man. Legion, so yeah. I. yeah. I have to so finish good. Legion season three. Like, there's just no way I can't. And apparently it got canceled, which sucks. Yeah, yeah. But it was too, which is funny because I think they're going to do the same thing for WandaVision. They're, I think they're doing the same concept that they went with, with Legion, which is the whole mental, mental thing. Yeah, it looks like it. With the which makes sense. And, yeah. And like yeah. suddenly Vision's alive and you're yeah, like, and that's, yeah, they're like kind my, of like, my hmm. friend was like, why are they doing a, a sitcom? I'm like, did you not like watch the it's, trailer or you just don't know anything about the character? No, probably. I there's guess. a bunch of things going on and just, yeah, it's, it's a very, I'm gonna like this one because it looks like oh, they're yeah. really gonna get they, to they, one they, of those uh, set now. What do you? She is a oh, very yeah. strong character. They've been she holding is. her back in the MCU. Yes. Like, way to be back. to be fair, they there's been wildly fluctuating power levels on characters in comics as well. Like yeah. even the everyone always uh, tributes uh, House of M, right? But they've had comics that show that she's not anywhere near that powerful usually. Like she has a huge power boost for House of M. That she gets from yeah, Doctor who, Doom. Yeah, somebody gave her a power boost. Yeah, as right. well. And Doctor, Doctor Doom, Strange yeah. has been held back as well. Oh, Doctor Strange oh, yeah. got. Well, uh, I, he they what they did now with him, which I do kind of like. Now that they did this, is that now magic comes with the price for everything he does. Yeah, in the mm-hmm. comics so, now it does. Yeah, so everything he does, yeah, he has to pay a price. For Whereas before, he does. well, and it, even before they had like downgraded him like halfway through the eighties. I think there's a story. I finally went and did some research on it because I could never figure out. I'm like, why is it like this? And it's like. In the eighties, he like fucks up and summons uh, Gog. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. he yeah. fucks up and summons Gog to like beat up fucking uh, Dormammu, which he does. But Gog is like this unstoppable multiversal so threat. He keeps beating shit up. Yeah, and <laughs> so basically, the Living Tribunal shows up and he's like, "You done fucked up, Strange. I'm taking away half of your fucking power because you done fucked shit up and almost broke the universe." Damn. And like so legit, he's been depowered. Then he got depowered again when all magic got destroyed. Yeah, and, magic and like and the... last year or two years ago, two thousand seven. Now, so he resorted to using magical weapons now. To... Yeah, or uh, advanced. Like, yeah, now yeah, now in the magic. new one, he has like a forge. Yeah, he like forges magical weapons. items. For everything. It's very okay, interesting. Now his so it's, hands it's, are it's a, it was a very good. Again. Yeah, he, he actually trade. Yeah, he made a deal with like some spells. So now he's the surgeon supreme again. It's so very interesting. Doing sur- it's- she's doing surgery while he. The last actual issue was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was cool. I, I, it's an interesting twist. They honestly and Donny Cates did the run with Ooh, uh, the the uh, empirical right with all the magic and death and magic stuff. Uh, or was no, it the run right was, after that? No, he did the the damnation of hell one. Where oh, they, that's he right. Did Mephisto. The okay, King that was still not that either. Yeah, um, I like Donny Cates. So he does good. He oh, picked up yeah. after, but the the arc before that, like they're just done really well. There's one arc where Loki takes over Sorcerer oh, Supreme yeah, from, from him. A little bit. Uh, they introduced some cool I remember the characters. Lo- I, I did the Loki. Yeah. I like so that one is really close to those. Yeah, the dog. Bates uh, the ghost character. dog. It's great. The He's a great dog. little... Ah, basically, you're a Dude, they've had a lot of expansion on the Doctor Strange stuff just yeah. in the last couple of years. Yeah. And it's all really good. I like I said, they wrote the it They wrote well. it in ways that made it well. Yeah, he's been... they And... Uh, who is it? Comics Explained. I watch his stuff. Keep oh, trying. He's, he's good. He's so good. He's awesome. uh, his theory I really resonate with, and I and it's been proven right time and time again is that whenever they start like pushing a character in the comics heavily, oh. they get a movie. Yeah, they always so, do. Like, like right now, Black. Now they're they're pushing Black Widow. Black comics Widow. Right now. Uh, and then like DC Blade, now was doing Blade nothing but Harley Quinn and Joker yep. books yep. for a little bit. They've been yeah. for months too. Yeah. Oh, Gosh, they have so many. Like, like there were like Quinn, four. The Harley Sandy. Black though was pretty good. No, they're good. They're the Harley series. Quinn. Oh, the Harley yeah, Joker one. The Harley Black was the Harley is good. 
Harley and Ivy is good. Yeah, gonna, like, they're yeah, all pretty Harley decent. All the Black Label stuff has been really good. The Black Label stuff is also. Um, <laughs> After the Black, the Bat Dick, everybody's just been all over the Black Label. And it is good. It is I good. Mean, I, it. Well, well, I was on the Black Label some comic that, guys though, are like, that they kind of dark. like toned down on some of the things so that they were going to do more to, Black Label. Because they, they were going to go like, Full, full zombie, like, don't give a dead, fuck, fuck everything. Black label. But they were, they were like, basically oh, shit, real bad. Yeah. yeah, they, they <laughs> basically <laughs> really. They were going to, to be doing a Ultimate Universe, basically. Yeah, DC, they were, but they kind of had to tone back. Because oh my gosh, they didn't have Ultimate the Universe, but like, uh, oh. Ultimate kind of uh, kind of Oh my god, dude, the, uh, the whole Ultimate Universe run, like Amazing. even even beyond the fucked upness of like cannibalism and all this shit. <laughs> like you just have like all these concepts that aren't like typically introduced like uh like yes you have racism but like abject objectified racism or, or like sexism controlling marriages just shit like that where it's like very much not apparent in other comic books like where it's like wait 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 we don't do that people don't yeah. cheat in comic books okay you don't cheat on the hero in comic books okay it doesn't ha- yeah it happens in you raise all the time yeah. but- so what else, guys? Uh, oh, uh, He-Man, man. Did oh, you see the list I of that? Did. That was huge. Huge. With Mark, Mark, Mark it was, Hamill. But it's because of Mark fucking, Hamill. Uh, it's Maybe Scott and Kevin Smith. Merman. Merman. It's Kevin Conroy. <laughs> yeah. <Bro. laughs> Kevin Smith is the reason for this. Yes. Thing. He's He is such a proponent of reaching out to these bigger people and moving them into those positions. As sad as Howard the Duck's not going to happen. I now. am yeah. super sad. That was a Hulu thing, though. That was yeah, because was of Disney+, Plus. I guarantee you. That that merger. Well, I, what I thought they were doing up. was that they were going to probably offset Bullshit. their more like not kid friendly kind of shows well, to yeah. Hulu. Because yeah. Disney friend. has some owner. They have yeah, 60% they own ownership they own of some of the Hulu. Yeah, right. But it, it that's why they have it, Runaways on the. Oh man, did it cave? Uh oh. I'll find it. Please. Yep, it cave. Mm-hmm. Cameras oh, down. Oh, Damn, we must have been on for a minute. Yeah. If that's the case. Because it usually lasts like that's an okay. hour and a half. Uh, that's, the thing, that's the only thing. That's the only thing about that. I can but... move that out real quick because it has another battery charging. But we are pretty close to everything. I don't know how long you guys wanted to be here doing stuff. Yeah, we're just gonna probably end off on some last little notes. Stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, definitely, man. Um, you have any this notes? is uh, the other thing we're playing uh, for today. Oh, you know, really? Their mm-hmm. names. Uh, if you look on it, it's Harley Quinn. She has yeah. the name. Yep, he named her. Yes, yeah, so Harley Quinn's Oh, it was so funny. I was like, Dude, oh, she's going to be in it. She was oh, just... Oh, even Jason Mewes is going to be in it, too. Though. No <laughs> shit. No, he, he's, he always casts Mewes and his uh, daughter in different stuff. Man, these things do not stay up like they used to. Oh, man. I'm telling you, man. I had to rearrange some of it for the thing, and it just it went crazy. But, but yeah. It's back um, Stranger, Stranger Things oh, Stranger 4. Things 4. Oh, God. Was the new they they, have they to, just had to re- I knew reveal he was that. Come back. You know why did they have to do they just, that? I think because some people were skeptical, or they were just Still, like, oh, like the, I was, I was on to like the little hints. Think, think about, the phone especially, especially, yeah, like, that stuff was cool. But like bringing them back, that that throws all that off. It was okay, I would like to think, but if you were going to do it, Reveal it in the season. In the season, yeah, like, it been and, much I, better and I guess all. I get the thing is like, well, they want people to come back, but imagine like you go through and you're like, man, I'm not gonna watch this season because it killed them, and then you don't watch, and then your friend comes up like, dude, have you seen the new season of Stranger <laughs> Things? I mean, what if what <laughs> they if, brought him back? <laughs> do you think he's brainwashed? Oh, absolutely, uh, he has to be. He, I look at his face. Yeah, he kind of looks like. Or, I don't know. Just look at his, whether brainwashed or brain dead, something is wrong. I don't with know. Him. Uh, look at some people face. said he looks like he's aware of where he is, he's maybe a slave, a slave labor. labor type deal. Well, yeah, like I'm not saying he's like totally caring. I'm just saying there's absolutely something wrong with him with that blank eyed stare. Uh, uh, you know, I, I hope that's the case. I hope that he's hypnotized. If not, then there's just I would like, little surprises, you know? I like, feel like the surprise you could do is, like, the run back from, like, maybe he really was gone, and, like, they brought him back. And very much in the way, I don't know if you've seen The Boys or read any of The, yeah. boys, oh, the that, boys, but they bring him back, so and their boys. brains... So, like, in the, the comics, boys. they haven't gotten there yet, but they, they bring him back from the dead or whatever. Mm-hmm. They can, using the Regenix or whatever the crap they use, but their brains are all gone, so they just, like, are mentally, you know, That'd not be kind of cool. I, I just... I want a twist to come out of that. Like they decided to reveal that. What so if it's early. a monster? Yeah. yeah like, what if it's bit, not him? It's a little too. Just something wearing his skin could be. You know. Yeah. yeah put a twist in there. Don't we'll fuck us up. Yeah. What if he's actually the Russian guy? 
but in his brain. You know what I mean? Hmm. You know what that's, I mean? Like that's there's a super field. like they both got pushed in the thing and like Russian dude's mind survived in his body and then his mind is like in the void. In, in yeah, his mind is in Hopper. Something. Uh, I don't know. You know, there's a million I mean, different something just something to shit. Anything things that's up. a little different. I felt like the last one was a little too much kissy kissy face less mm, thing. It was still I liked good. it better but than it two, was though. fine. Oh, I liked two, it better than two. Yeah, it was like yeah, yeah, two love, was yeah, two I was did like the last season a little bit. But he was right. I, there was a little kissy but you gotta be that they were they're older. Yeah, they're they they not there. Age now, and I so, and like, I see hinting at it, and you know, uh, incorporating it. It was like a fucking plot point, dog. <laughs> I'm cool with that though. Like they're growing up at this point. They're teenagers. You know, they're I, growing. That's what made me really love the show even more. Is that like fuck, I've watched these guys since they were like already maybe what nine or ten when they started the yeah, show, and now like 14, now they're already 15, 14, 15. Yeah, they're grown. Years. They're grown teenagers. Like damn, I guess it's like I've grown up with these kids watching them do these things. And, I don't know. That's cool to me when they came back. You're like, damn, they really grew up. Yeah, no, I'm like, <laughs> which I'm also cool with. Like, like I said, I'm just like, I came to this show to but, watch yeah. that was monsters. The, that was the first thing they went monsters. and pointed out was that we got to do the kissy kissy big first. We the did. monsters were better this season. They yeah. were. I didn't like them dolls in season two. They were yeah. kind of weak sauce. And Season two overall was like, for me, everyone was like, ah, season two. And I was like, it was just mess. Season one was really good. And season two was like, Okay. Yeah, it was and like then I got to three and I was like, all right, we're we're middle ground. Here. I liked this is good. a lot of the stuff they did with three, the infecting thing, you know, was was real big for yeah. me, which I kind of saw coming, but you know, I digress into saying it was still really good. The monster is pretty interesting. And we need visual. to lose a core group member though. We haven't well, lost. they are saying that there is gonna be a big yeah, tragedy, tragedy thing yeah. happening. The, the and that's one. really because and, and Billy it's really, really too. it needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, nobody cared about Billy, he was an asshole. Uh, <laughs> exactly. We we're kind of like, oh yeah, he only redeemed himself at the, at the end, end a little bit, like, like a little bit. Yeah, I like, still give a shit about him. Like, if it was like Will or something, right? Be like, oh, it's like fuck. when the kid from it, you know, fall or whatever, you falls down the well. You're like, yeah, he was a dickweed anyway. Like, it sucks that he got eaten by a monster, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that guy. Right. You need a character that you've come to love and like is basically irreplaceable to you, like one of the main cast, or at least. You know, they did, that was one of the one things they did do well in season two that I felt Sam. like, yeah, the death. Also, was, how yeah, dare they I reference him that. as that, as opposed to Sam Gaggi, who took the ring to motherfucking of, Mordor. I know, like, they named him bitch. Sam. Right? <laughs> and then they killed him. Again. They killed uh, him. They killed him. But no, like, uh, and it's funny you say that because that desire for the darkening and the tragedy and the deepening. I feel like it's very much a growing up aspect. Not for us personally. Like, we're all kind of, you know, basically grown at this point. But to grow the story. That, yes, uh, to grow to the, story, the story. To mature yes. a little bit. You want to mature and, that story. And also, it's it's representative of the great stories of all time. They start for, you know, all stories start for children. Because yeah, you're not told mature. the whole story. Right. And then the story. So, who do you think would die out of the um, I'm thinking it could be Steve. Since he's become such a fan favorite. Because you know, he, I, you know I, I was would, thinking this for, but it's probably it Steve. Like, it's Steve like, yeah. will probably make a brave sacrifice. He, he, uh, he, the problem, like, I see doing it like doing that. it. Yeah, I don't yeah. think very it would much be like a his very, uh, yeah, it would be in character, and I could see him doing it. I think it would be, they'd need to wait a season or two because they just had the semi whatever sacrifice with uh, the Hopper. Yeah. And see, what if they would have just kept him dead, man? Um,. I don't been. know. They, I me, feel like I he was a big part of it, to though. to keep him around still. Yeah. I think it would have been okay to do it very much in the similar way of uh, The Flash and Wells. Yeah. He became yeah. such a part that they just wrote in more Wells. You know what I mean? They made reasons for that character to that stay around and act. And it was... Balls. <laughs> man, he did it good. Oh, oh, my he God. did it <laughs> just well, though. Just wrap Flash up, man. God damn it. Like all those shows should have wrapped up before the fucking Marvel one. Here's ah man. Uh, man, the the fact that Shield is ending before them is kind of disappointing to me, especially considering that even Shield probably shouldn't have gone on this long. Like I like I only Shield. Watched it when the ghost. I, you know what got cut off too early it was that Peggy Carter show. It did, a hundred times. but it was because it was that. Hulu. But the problem was it was uh it was not a who right yeah. No, it was, well, on, it was on uh, FX, wasn't it? No, it was on, um, it was on the sure same it as, uh, what's it called? I thought it was on cable. Yeah, it's it on is cable on cable, with, but um, it was on Hulu as well. With Legend, or uh, Legends of Seal. 
Uh, that's the same age. It might have been yeah. Shield. I think, I think oh, once again, it's yeah, okay. same. I think it runs like, along those lines, and we talked it about sucks. it earlier with Birds of Prey that uh men are just unapologetically kind of assholes in the sense that we're like i want to watch movies that out of it we was need better than ages just... of shield it yeah. was better peggy is a better did y'all did y'all watch that I Agent did. carter it's it's really good, good. It's to be fair agent of the shield is not like a very high quality or class show agent and of I, shield is and really i don't good even care for, its... for the shield even in the comic books so I'm like, yeah i don't agents care of shield to watch like, the show either, i like so. exactly. agents of shield because it is basically backstory for the MCU. That's all it is, really. Oh, yeah, just like just government, fodder. like who is controlling all of oh, this. Oh, yeah. It, it mean, gives that's... things, but it gives, so, so like you get introductions of characters you would have never seen or will probably never see, such as like Graviton. Right. Uh, you get introductions of characters like Deaths, uh, not Deathstroke, uh... Deathstroke's in it. He's in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Deathstroke? No, Deathstroke. No, because no, Deathstroke's, Deathstroke's DC. DC. That's De- uh... I was thinking of Arrow when yeah, I no, yeah. I can't think of the Dead name. Shots DC I can't right? think of the name. Deathlock. 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 Yeah, Deathlock. Yeah, so many of them. God damn. God, damn. <laughs> I know. I'm like Deathlock. Deadshot. Yep. <laughs> God, yeah. All the time. Deadpool. We all, God, I, think we, I think we should all agree though that Deathlock murders everyone else. But um, that's a different story. <laughs> My thing is Deathstroke, but I like Deathstroke, but Deathstroke is not an unlimited multi-copying advanced cybernetic organism hey that's fair but i i just like that story like story yeah he has a better slave. story death death uh Plus death lock Deathlock story is they like, have like three death locks yeah right death now. lock is like so. a designation not a name and that's the other reason like i said there's like a billion death locks and they're all like the same yeah, they're, they're, personalities, yeah. They're, the they don't have personalities was, but um they're with they're all the, the same but they're the like stuff yeah that's the last time i've seen him he's i've been around still he does stuff but he's just like very he's a throwing character because he has no backstory he has no like yeah. real matter i like him as a character though because he is absolutely like that motherfucker who will just like he's one of the very few people who's just shown reliably like murdering wolverine and like just fucking people up like i said he just has like he's built to like murder superhumans and shit that's his whole purpose is like to adapt he's like the adaptoid but like a zombie so out of left field, since Mandalorian has been oh, done, has anybody really been on Disney Plus that much? Uh, no, but yeah. I just, I, I just haven't been there, watching the Clone Wars. I've been going okay. through One Piece. And I haven't had much time for anything else. Oh, I cannot get through One Piece. The it's thing just is, so you, long. All right, so let me ask you this because I've been doing it on my own for some other stuff. Uh, I'm currently making a One Piece Kai, where I'm cutting out. I will oh, watch the fuck out of that. I, yeah, and so I'm I'm cutting all the intro, all the middle, all the outs. Cut I'm out cutting, all the fat man. I'll watch I'm the cutting whole as series. much fat as I can. I'm cutting any flashback that has been done more than once or is non-essential. All the filler cut episodes are going to be cut down. So like, there's and it's funny. Even canon fil- episodes that are filler cut. So like, episode 18 is like a canon episode. It's in the comics. I, I think but every shown in anime could use that. Well, treatment. that's why I think I like I think Black Clover right now. Yep. That there, there's like no filler. No fluff. Anything. But they're they're about to be catching up. With yeah, that's the, the problem. They are finally right catching right up, and that's the thing with One Piece. When you watch One Piece up to a certain point, there's no filler. See, that's what's happening with My Hero. It's they're going to catch, catch up. up. It's about to. They, yeah. This it's season close. was the last season until they will not be able to go far enough to make another season of the manga. They're only because you guys got to the end of the fight with Worth, the Yakuza, um, right? Yeah. That's so okay. they're, now they're currently doing, in like, a new I think arc. Kind of some filler episodes, right? Yeah, they're like they're right in the yep, kind of stuff. Yep, they're right into some filler Ooh, territory. Are they filler? Oh, well, yeah. that sucks because they shouldn't even have to do filler yet. There's still stuff. Yeah, but there's still stuff, but there's not a lot to keep. No, on going. The, all you, you have right wait. now is the uh, the revelation of the secondary quirk. Yep. So you gotta wait. You gotta give us some time. But that's what I'm saying. Is like I'm gonna you, buffer a little bit. It's you don't need a minute, man. Like to do a whole season. They they were condensing like twenty chapters into a season, and they're doing a movie now. or no fifty. They're chapters. doing like six. Yeah, they're doing a bunch. Now I'm, we're gonna go see that. To movie be I to hear. be fair, yeah. all of the big shonen anime like Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball, any big shonen anime gets movies. Tons of them. But you know what though, their anime with movies especially has been doing a lot better here in the states. Well, it's I because think. anime is more popular. It's here starting now. like yeah, it's starting to get way especially more Dragon popular. Dragon Ball Z. Well, Dragon Ball Z is always kind of been. The but the other the, uh, oh yeah, BBC, the, the, the super yeah yeah. yeah. I think but, it was uh, the most the highest anime film at that time. I think. Yeah, it was, and they've definitely been doing doing better uh, because of the growth and acceptance of anime in many different Here. communities. Like yes. one of my favorite, and I think 
I don't, uh, hopefully we will agree, but the hood anime memes. Oh, oh my god! I told my my Fuck friend, I, I, I love like, not to be racist, like, but bro, a lot of black people like it. No, <laughs> it was was I mean, like, I love like, it. Yeah, it's like, true. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's so the thing. Is like, bro, like, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the black guys when and, I was going back to elementary school, they were like, man, that Dragon Ball Z episode. And I, I was no, telling bro, them, like, very and they're the only ones that are doing videos, too. I never see any of the Mexicans or white people doing, the, or even the Asian guys. Yeah, they ain't even a bunch doing, of black guys doing, doing fucking doing anime the, videos. They're doing break dancing with the anime <laughs> videos. Like, oh, shit. And they be doing reactions and shit. It's, oh, yeah. it's fun, man. Yeah, I've definitely it's, seen it. It's great that there's growing as a community. Into the, it's great. Into the fold. Because like, oh, yeah. I remember back when we were younger, people were it like, was very anime, much, what? Yeah. Uh, anything, besides Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was the only exception. Even... Because I remember Even getting my cousin. was like, oh, yeah. what? What is yeah. this? Dragon Ball Z was pretty much the only exception. Everything else was it's, like... And Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. Even that then, I love through it. You, you could squeeze it through, but if Maybe they didn't know it, it was like... They were just like, well, what Ronin what Warriors? That? Remember Ronin Warriors? Ronin Warriors? Oh, those have me to remember. Oh, I'll show you later. Yeah, we'll show you later. But Ronin Warriors, is, it's like Power Rangers, but they're Samurai. Oh, I might have seen that, yeah. actually. It, was, okay. it wasn't Maybe around like for very long. Into like a, I've seen one that. Like a yeah. White yeah. Samurai. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It was good. It wasn't very around for very the long. The dub but... was not very great either, but still. Did you I remember know? Watching it. All right, I got to ask you guys. I learned this the other day, and it kind of broke my perspective a little bit. And yeah, that happens from time to time. Did you know that Power Rangers, the original, is a live action dub? Yes. Yes. I had you no never idea. knew. Yes. Yeah, so Sabin, S- when he when he first no, went to Super Japan, Sentai, right? He had yeah, yeah, Super Sentai. Oh well, my gosh, I knew it so was an dubs. adaption. Yeah, I didn't so know many, it was a straight so live action. Dub. Yes. Yes. That's insane to me. Like going back and watching it, you can see. But oh, I remember yeah. I was like, and the only and it's funny because I the reason I stumbled upon it was a total mistake. I was watching, uh, One Piece. And I'm trying to like pinpoint this fucking voice actor. Like, who the fuck is this voice actor? And actress? then you found out it was an original. Uh, I, th- I thought I thought it was. Well, I thought I'm like this sounds like Rita Repulsa from fucking Power Rangers. He's got to be like it sounds exactly like <laughs> her, like the way she talks. I go back. It wasn't even her. But then I found out that the fucking voice actor for Rita Repulsa is a you know has a voice actor because the original Japanese mm-hmm. woman. It's is not, not a, yeah, yeah they, she's not the they one just doing cuts, it and then they did live action scenes with right teenagers, right that's and then anytime they, they had their masks off they kept all the footage and actually and only the cut. yellow ranger is a man right it's that's what they said yeah, it's not, <laughs> you can it's see not the like girl. that's it we were doing all the stuff be, and they actually change later you can even in the original american series you change uh black and yellow rangers mm-hmm. they change but more importantly, like if you look through the editing, there's still cuts where you can see like you can see the Japanese uh, dress, buildings yeah. in the background, Japanese so. buildings, Japanese citizens who weren't cleared from filming. Like I was like, holy shit, son, this broke my whole perspective. Yeah, Crazy, I, I found about that probably like five or six years ago. But you well, know I what you should watch? Watch um, you the toys that made us. Um, I yeah, yeah. I did a Power Rangers yeah. episode. The Power Rangers episode. Oh, and they legit. it's a really good episode. It really shows you how they how Saban kind of like brought the idea. At first, actually, it wasn't even Saban. There was another group of people that thought of it too because they seen these these Super Sentai videos. Right. And they're like, wait, we could do something with this. And it, t- it took a while for it to happen, but Saban brought it back, and then. Supposedly, the people that wanted to do it in the first place and him got together and like, oh well, and let's do it. And so they, then it got on Fox Kids and ended up being a really good that show. Kids, and, shit. That was, oh, dude! That was, that at the time, the that was like the only thing. And you gotta remember, this was at a time where comics were just or cartoons were just starting to be every day. Yep. Yes. You know I mean, the '90s was really when cartoons were like. 80s. Remember, we were only getting uh, new episodes on Saturdays. Yes. Oh yeah, only Saturdays. You would get broadcast. Well, and it's because like I said I grew up. My parents were like, "Well, we only got to watch cartoons on Saturdays." Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, right. Well, I got to watch them every day, but we only got that new one every yeah. Saturday. And, and if you didn't days. catch it, you had to wonder. Oh, that was the worst. What? And that's yeah, why like, oh. that's why shows like Dragon Ball Z were filmed and shot and made the way they were, so that were you to come in on episode. 65 it makes sense, goku but... the lone survivor of it like they do the whole yeah, story breakdown like, God damn i'm waiting and then, and then too it does kind of save costs too as oh, well because they don't have to animate as much absolutely, but still yeah. i mean but yeah it, seeing it it's... nowadays with our technology you're like oh, i'm just gonna 
fast forward this year. Yep. Mm-hmm. Y'all okay, remember when they tech, used to yeah. like restart shows? Like they would get caught Dude, up the, and they didn't have any dub left, so they would restart the whole series. The, that yeah, shit yeah, would happen the, to Dragon Ball Z all the uh, time. All the time, and you'd just be watching old episodes. You'd be like, like oh, yeah, shit, they'd be like, see, they just watch this? Yeah, <laughs> you'd be like, oh shit, it's to like a half th- halfway through the Boo saga, and then it jumps back, back to Freezer. Freezer. Like, like, wait shit, a minute, like, wait a minute, I was hell? just watching Boo. I know you're dead already. <laughs> yeah, like, wait, hold on. They got to go all the way back to catch up. It was, it was so crazy how they did that. Or like, now not to mention they come out with it the same day. The dub. It's yeah. it's day of, and Funimation works really hard like that. Do a good so job. Try One to, Piece, right? <laughs> they're doing, they're starting the dub. They're doing day. a shitty job at that. I've I've seen the comments and people are pissed about how shitty they're doing. Uh, on the that dub one. because it's released every week. Not anymore because but they, I know that they were taking a very long time because they were like, well, when's the next? Because they were like already still doing the subs. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. we're already you know, people who watch the dub. They're like, dang, we're, we're guys. No, they're two years, so and that's and now. like I said, they just released the episode or uh, in October. Funimation head and the voice actor for Luffy were like, we've heard your comments. We hear you asking. Yes, we're going to bring the dub for One Piece back, and they're doing two different animation dub teams so they can. <laughs> release faster see this is that's crazy that's sloppy shit. just le- let it i don't much rather than just well, take a couple episodes i wish they would get some time teams. the other thing is and i wish that they could do this but i know they won't they're going to do every episode they're going to do every single episode including all the filler episodes when realistically they only made the filler episodes so they could catch up with the manga but you're caught up with the animation you just need to translate the main story you know what i'm saying now, having said that, uh, the the dub of One Piece and even the anime of One Piece, as compared to the manga, is a poor uh, translation. Like, like, I, and I've said it before, One Piece God, the is One Piece dub is pretty bad. Yeah, my friend, so which is so anime. bad because the he doesn't watch no dub. He's like, he's a he's a sub purist. Even the sub he's, is not he, very he, good. He tells me because he's like, to me, he's like they don't. He doesn't feel like they do. The, the best job of like the Japanese actors. Like, well, they're not I as just, dramatic it, in the way yeah, that I think that the, the way anime in Japan is done is like kabuki. Yes, it's, it is. It's, it's very a, dramatic. Or ver- dramatic. And, and we don't do that it's here. It's verbally America. very powerful and yes. very dramatic All and drastic. Your, and we don't yes. do that here. No. We don't. It, it just doesn't translate. Uh, Attack well. on Titan dub oh, is awful. Yeah, My Hero is one of the no few job. ones that does a That's decent job. That's pretty good. And it's yeah. because a lot of the voice actors are new era voice actors, so like I didn't well, know this. Well, All Might, though. He's one of the only oh, throws oh, back, Christian. Though. Yeah, Christian uh, something. Sabat. Chris Sabat. Chris Sabat, yeah. Sabat. yeah uh, does. But he's one, of the only, he's one of the only ones. He's taken a much more emotional role in his depiction of All Might than almost any other role he's ever played, like Vegeta, Piccolo. You go look at all of his other roles. Ah, Vegeta like, and Piccolo are pretty emotional. Not in voice-wise, though. They he never do it. Boy, they're oh, never man. like. Oh, 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 oh. It's always yes, I'm Vegeta. Even yeah, when he's he dying, he's like, "Tell like your mother and your boy." When he comes running in, you're like, da, 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 da. He's yeah, just like, <laughs> he, he seems like this very he's so like he puts like more into kind it. of superhero. Like, oh my gosh, it's like yes, this is what the superhero should be. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. And, and he does a very good job, and that's why he won an award for doing All Might. You know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to Vegeta and Piccolo. Like I said, I like Vegeta and Piccolo, and they have emotional moments. Yeah. The voice but acting they're dra- is never... there's no drama. In no, their voice. their voice is always cold as a rock, steady as you know what I mean. They're meant to be these stalwart characters who never. Ha la la la. Whereas All Might is fucking. And amazing. that's just anime, you know what I mean? In yeah. Japan, that's the one dub. Piece is I will good say, I, MHA, I like the dub more. It's one of the few examples, and once again, because they're using new age voice actors. So, like, I didn't know until recently, but the dude who voices Deku voices the main character for one of Team Four Stars series and has for like three or four years. Oh, shit. So, he's an independent voice actor who went big. Hmm. Same for uh, the voice of Ainz Ungal in Overlord. He was the voice of Cooler in their TFS The Bridge series, which means he was originally a minor voice actor. Wow. There's absolutely no way they could have paid a major voice actor to do the project. Yeah. And that's, you know what I mean? Tracing them back, you can also see where they started on these small things. Same with little Karibo and his wife, whatever. They mm-hmm. started small, now going into real anime, real things. So, like, his wife also voiced one of the characters for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, one of the new ones. It's like a fat Kai or something. Mm. Fat female Kai. He, she voices her. But it, that being the point, they know and watch subs... And they can express, like I said, like I said, they're better. just so 
So like one of the best examples, and I you probably I don't know how far you've gotten in One Piece, uh, but you probably haven't gotten to Brook yet. No. Um, Brook is one of the only examples of good voice acting in the One Piece stuff is because he is a very crazy emotional character. So it's easier for his character to be that way, even in English. Mm-hmm. Like he's very he's like a skeleton, so he's just crazy funny bones blah 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 he's always singing and doing dancing blah 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 blah, but he's very emotional powerful very into it just like in the japanese version see i like that that's what i that's how i like my dubbed anime to be and there's yeah man when you go back to some of those older animes you're like you it's it's like the voice acting they were working with what they could could. you gotta remember some of those fucking voice actors at that time weren't even they did it they were like bring Bring in Joe Schmo off the damn yeah. street. We just in need Joe from accounting. Yeah. We need somebody to we save just, his here's line. thirty grand, man. Do this whole season for us. It was it was literally of the time of that. And nowadays you have people on people Fiverr. like Chris Sabat. That that motherfuckers like that are charging hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, now he can. Now you know, can. twenty yeah. years and a big resume and, later. Uh, but Sean, uh, Sean Schemmel, yeah. Schemmel, yeah. Oh, and um, which is one of the only uh, examples dude who of does American Tom voice. from Toonami. Oh yeah, uh, he does uh, um Mugen. Yeah, he and, does uh, Samurai Shampoo. He does Spike. Ah, oh, why can't I think I of his name off the top name. of my name? Steve Blunt. Yeah, okay. Steve Blunt. Yeah, he he's done. He's like. Big time. He's a voice now. There's and that's the thing about it. Classically in the nineties, there and even up to today in tell the more recent ones they're doing with Funimation, there was a list of maybe twenty voice actors. Yep. And they did everything. Yeah, like yeah, Steve Blum, Vic Mignana, well uh Chris Sabbath. God, I can never remember his who it is, but uh I was watching Darkwing Duck on Disney Plus and I remembered one of them. But he's Bash, whoever does he's that the guy who plays the fucking uh, the little the poison dude in the Princess Bride. Inconceivable! Oh, he did man. all the voice, all kinds of voices in the nineties. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? He did. I mean, it was such a small was industry the, back then. Was Jafar was. Oh no, that's uh, no. sorry, I was thinking. You're of Iago, thinking of Iago, uh, and that's uh, that's Gilbert what, Godfrey. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Never mind. Who is amazing, but can only do the one voice. Yes, that's only the, voice the of one Gilbert. voice. Only that one. All right, guys. Uh, I, yeah, shall we wrap it up? I yeah, think this was a good episode. Yeah. This was great. Thanks for coming through again yeah. for episode 100. Hell, let's Thanks. do it yeah, more often. Honestly, yeah, we can definitely yeah. try to see awesome. when we can schedule and come through, especially we got the setup better. I'm hoping eventually to get the blue screen, green screen all set yeah, up on the wall. That set up last oh, oh, yeah. Geez, green screen. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get better lighting, though. I need soft boxes. I got the lighting. I have seen some good deals. What kind of background y'all keep back there? Uh, we had Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We had a nice. trailer ready. Yeah, it was just, in the background. Yeah, but we're like, well, this was came out last week, so we'll just put it up Kakarot here. Kakarot was pretty fun. It's I, very I, much a nostalgia game. Yeah, it's it's pretty much just like it playing the the series. Kind of wise. Kind of stepped away from. But the only thing I wanted Same. to give was because he said that there was added story to it. But... There is a little extra. I will say it would. Side you know, quests are. It's not even that. Like it's the things, like the little things at the beginning. Like you have that portion that's before you meet Raditz or take Ko- Gohan to Kame House. And that's never in the manga a- yeah. anywhere. Not even close. There's little things like that, like what Gohan's doing in between series. Nothing major, or like the fact that Yajirobe brings him food when he's like training. Yeah, They're just, yeah. It's universe building. Not There's nothing. No. It's 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 very basic. Yep. It's not a game to be bought. It's open world played. light. It's yeah. open world light. You're pretty much playing the Dragon Ball series. Oh, absolutely. There's there's open world periods. Basically, intermission periods are open world, and the rest of it is semi open world. Yep. And even then, that's why I was afraid it was going to be semi anyway. I knew it was. It was ne- open world, never. I've truly. never seen except a, Breath of the Wild is never done. even that. Well, like Skyrim, the Skyrim, only Skyrim, open sure. rim open world game I've ever seen. Only real open world game. Is a no piece of sh- yeah. It is a piece of shit. No, you know what? They Fuck improved. Go, it, go back and play. I now. played it. It's they, much people better. People are loving it now. It really it's sucks. They, that they it's because up they so added bad. all the stuff they said they were going to add, like yes, alien races. Went back and added shit. And they right. saw the but the original like, buy version, you couldn't. Bad. Yeah, like I said, you couldn't do co-op. You couldn't do 
real multi world yeah, exploration. It's so big, people are like, well, if it's so big, how much? What is the odds of me really, literally, me finding somebody? Yeah, in nearly this impossible. Room? But they fix. They fix. Those right, but things. they fix those things. And even uh, then, but originally you couldn't even. Even if you could have found them, they they made it so that you could see each other's markers and stuff. Like you could see that they had discovered that this that world. Was a, that's simple. But that's right, and it took them time to fix it, which is why I'm glad but I did. People love buy. it now. I mean, it, oh, and it's better. They also added like they added like hardcore modes and like. Oh, good, good. They added more guns. Well. Even when I played it, like, granted, I played it when it came out, it didn't have all the, I still sunk like 30 or 40 hours, and it's still a great open world. You run around, you shoot stuff, beat up robots, see weird animals. It was fine, uh, but that's the it's only the same, real open world I've ever seen. On every world, right, though. yeah. It, it's, yeah, yeah. It I gets mean, boring. Just, yeah, the, and the and world like, with no purpose is boring. Yeah. yeah you know what sadly. I mean? But yeah, guys. Uh, well, last thing I want to say was, what was I mean, before we end it, what was your guys' movies you're most excited for? I guess this year? Uh, this tenant for me, I can't wait for that shit with um, John David Washington and uh, Robert Pattinson. Really excited for that. Uh, the Black Widow movie looks pretty good. We we'll just kind of wait and yeah. see with that one. Uh, Eternals. That's, to that I'm channel. actually, you yeah. know, I'm I would have said before Black Widow, but I'm doing Eternals now because. And it's weird that they said it, but they've confirmed the first homosexual relationship. Oh, yes. To be confirmed. And I want to see what they do with that. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it be such a touchy subject on multiple layers mm -hmm. that seeing how Marvel handles this yeah. will set the, the trend for the future of comics. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no doubt that in future of comic movies, this will set a trend as to how, how they the handle it. How right. Handle, yeah. Or even if it can be for now, you know, like. Sad to say, some of the world may not be ready for a new exactly. superhero. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, you know, there's so many great <laughs> movies coming out. It's hard to is. say. We have Black Widow. And we have uh, Eternals. We have uh, what else is on our list too. Oh God, there's there's so much. Shit there's so much that I don't even keep the track. You know what I mean? That like trying to keep the list Godzilla up. you know what I'm I am yes, excited you know for what? Godzilla that's versus King Kong yeah that'll be good Ho I'm excited. hopefully I mean and the last Invisible one I got movie looks really good that actually looks interesting yeah, that looks that. pretty good I want I've always wanted more from I wanted them to make a uh, that'll be my last comment too so that we don't keep going because we'll keep talking forever if we keep talking uh but the the extraordinary the League, League of Extraordinary, yeah, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I always wanted a series or something to come out of that, or a universe to come out of that. And <laughs> yeah, well, that movie was. You know, when I was a kid, I loved it, but then uh, I still kind of like. I guess the fact that the movie like is it. not all that great, but the characters, the are, characters, characters are, I think, is what great. I like about the whole thing. Right, the characters are what the movie's about. It's not about you know this. It's about these characters, Hyde and you know, great, even Mr. like Gray. they even made their own movie of. Uh, What's his name? Um, Mr. Gray, right? Yeah, Gray. Yeah, they did mm -hmm. one for him. Which that one was. I never it, watched it was that weird. one. It was interesting. It was it was not good, but it was. They also didn't cover like it was seemed like a different Maybe. character even. Yeah, yeah. he like yeah, didn't have powers. Was it, was like, mm -hmm. it was like. I said I like that one. That was it was a series that I would have liked, especially because I think it was originally based off of a book series. That it was it had a lot of like potential, and then it never really happened. Yeah. Well, that, yep. was, that was pretty much it. I think it's it. Yep. Yep. Episode, yep. everybody. Yep. We did yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 100. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to get these lines. Mouse